Okay. What's wrong? Not yet. No. Now. Now it's recording. Ha ha. Welcome, guys. Hey. Uh, hey how, actually, how are you doing? It's a little bit weird now. Yeah, we're doing uh, two this broadcasts. This is our first live show. So, so yep. it's, it's kind of a... Uh, we're the formerly of the East vs. West Working Title Podcast, but... Now we're now known as four player podcast. Four player podcast. Four players. The uh, yes. fourth person is kind of missing today. There's a deeper meaning to the title. We'll reveal it someday. Yep. When sure. we think of it. Um, um, I guess this is Nick. For those of y'all who haven't listened before, I'm Nick. I'm, I'm David. Brad. Brad Bradford so. Whitley, actually. Bradford Whitley. Yep. All right. All right. So, uh, wait, wait. So, yeah, start the music. Start, right. start the music. All right. So, what y'all been playing? Hmm. Hmm. Actually, th- this is show number 49. We're actually... 49? 49. One more show. Oh we're at we got to plan something big for this next week. Yeah. Is that what you are talking about? What? You and Nick are going to... Do... I don't know. Go ahead. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll figure something out because next week's our 50th show, even though... we got to get a new camera. Nah. Yeah. Okay. But uh, I'm sure everybody wants to just jump right into impressions. We've got Devil May Cry 4. Impressions, what we've been from playing. From us playing. And so... Yeah. Devil May Cry 4. Um, right. So you picked How much have you been playing it? Well, I didn't get to start playing until today because it's I have to be all like, I'm not, I can't be all soft. Oh, crap. Just to... come on! <laughs> now they can see us! Okay. <coughs> so, I picked the Devil May Cry 4 yesterday. I didn't get a chance to start playing it until PS3, today. PS3, right? Uh, yeah, PS3. Yeah, I really wish you would have picked up the 360 one because I want to see what the difference in loading is. I don't know. I have a well, feeling. Well, how, did you install, you install it? Yeah. It's, it's just a... the installation thing for the big major No, but the thing is that, I'm sure that, that has to help in... Um, I hear I hear loading times on the 360 version can be like... Six to seven seconds. I think That's I read it. that somewhere. As opposed to like the PS3 version, it's which like two. y'all both played, which is like the the two seconds. I, I don't think I've had a loading time faster than. But I heard. Seconds. I was reading early stuff about it, and they said. Once you installed it, there'd be like no loading time. Yeah, that's well, what I thought it was supposed to be. When you compare it to other games nowadays, especially on the I know, but I, I like that, that like nothing. I like that God of War like seamless experience where like. It's so seamless that you forget that there's no loading, and that's just kind of cool. Because you're just really all playing no, the game. Was there no loading in no. God of War? Yeah. No loading, dude. Except for, like, in between missions and stuff. Yeah. Wow. The actual, like, right. beat a boss. I, I mean, there was no it, loading. it's a small thing, but I just thought they were going to do that, at least on the PS3. But. For me, it made a difference. What did y'all think of the actual install? A lot of people were bitching right now because all the, in- the what, uh, Dude, install. I thought the install... Capcom had to at least do a press release saying that, hey, don't stop bitching about the... The don't stop. No, Capcom was well, trying to tell you to stop bitching about it. It's bitching's right. fine, bitch, crap. You know, that should be okay. It's going to get all out. You guys are the ones who have to watch out for you. <laughs> 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 like the they, bomb. I might get a little heated when we get into pixel junk monsters, but that's later. <laughs> but <laughs> this guy was screaming yesterday playing. Oh, screaming. Great. Pixel junk monsters, guys. Yeah. Sorry, right, we'll, we'll talk about this later. Alright, no, seriously. Uh, in the install screen, I don't know. I think it sucks, but like at the same time, I just we just kind of turned that on. We kind of, were kind of playing at the same for time. For me, if you're a Devil May Cry fan, for me it was, it was pretty well, cool. I well, I was under the impression that the entire 25 or 20 25 minute install base was going to be like all like history. Yeah, I, I thought I was just going to no, I thought I was going to like re- install it and then just stay and like switch over to nights or something to play something else while I was waiting. But it did, did you actually, wa- did you watch that? Yeah. So the thing is, I remember I I hadn't played any of the first three. I know. Well, which for me, no. you know what would have been really cool if they would have gave like you a classic like. Capcom game to play or something during the no, install. No, it's just no, an no, install, right? No, I, I prefer. I, I like the story. I like, I like it just but it just kept repeating. Yeah, you know? exactly. It yeah, sucks so that it that's what I didn't. I didn't see that coming. I thought it was going to be like a 20, 25 minutes, like really in depth. You can do stuff history. during the install, though, right? Well, on no. other stuff? Yeah. No. Uh, well, I mean, you, you can switch to different video so. outputs and play their systems. I, I was kind of. That'd be cool if they had like a short little like demo room or something for Devil May Cry One or something in there that you can play while it installs. Well, I kind of considered really. playing No More Heroes while I was playing that. I was like, if yeah, I do that, yeah. I'm going to get stuck on no, that. No, but it was cool because the music was so freaking awesome. For me, that was a really... No, th- because they, they kept playing it over and over again. Yeah, but for me, that was really yeah, good yeah, because, I mean, it was, it was very, it was nice very nostalgic. Yeah. I, like, it reminded me of everything that happened <coughs> up until that point. Which, and they, they even I, included two. I they, they yeah, was, I, which for me was <laughs> a good thing. Two, they actually included two, which I thought they were going to totally pretend that never happened, but which is good. Just because it was a bad... It wasn't the best... Installment in the series. I don't think they should have totally ignored it, which they didn't. So that was pretty cool. This might sound kind of blasphemous, but yeah. does Devil May Cry Four? It's is it the sequel to? Is it the sequel to three? Yes, he went to the water. No, it's not sequel. It's is it the sequel to three or is it the sequel to two? No, no. Because wait. Uh, uh, see, I, I think it's the sequel to two. Wait, wait. Yeah, I think it's the no. sequel to two. So I remember early reports saying it was in between three and one. And then, but see, Dante looks old. It has to be after no, two. No, it can't. It can't be before one because Triss is in it. Yeah, and lady, true. and lady. Okay, okay. I was just confused. So, 
But now I'm wondering, I, after watching the actual install and looking at the history and stuff, God, lady, I, it kind of makes me want to see it. Can't wait. Oh, I'll, when they show the pictures of Lady, oh, I was, it was like, hot. But. We it's not pictures, right? We didn't want Lucia I, at all. Okay, none of us have met Lady in the game yet. We're not that far. We, we've, we've seen the pictures, bit, but like I said, I this played, is our first impression. I, I but the thing is, the pictures, Lady's all like busty and busty. showing. I mean, that's good enough. Every all, time I mention Lucia, you will switch to Lady. She know. went from like who's Lucia again? From the, the second from one. The second one? She the went girl from with the red hair. At the, I don't, I don't care about her. either her or Trish. I'm Trish looks better because she looked kind of crappy in Devil May Cry One. But see, Lady was kind of like like. Ooh. I'm ready for that. We'll talk about Gloria <laughs> later. <laughs> no, Lady was kind of cute badass in 3. Now she's kind of like slutty badass. Which, you know, they're both good. I like but... both iterations, to be honest. Uh, I, I really like her old, her like, uh, badass. her stripes. So not... oh, we'll see. Alright, by the way, wait, I said we're not going to get into any like ma major spoilers or anything. Pants. So so let's steer away from We're like, going to try and keep the spoilers free as possible. Yeah, major story Which points. shouldn't be hard considering none of us have really gotten too well, far in the game so far. Uh, far. How far. How many missions have you beaten? Six, seven, six. Seven. So you still got like fifteen, sixteen. We fought. A, there's like there's at least twenty. Okay. We fought like two or three bosses already. Yeah. So I mean, okay. And, and of course, the Devil May Cry. That's still, like every other mission. But there's still. I mean, you won't know everything until the very end. So. Although yeah, I, 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 I thought we were fighting it. more. I love how Devil May Cry always introduces a regular enemy, and you always think it's a boss. You know, because because there's always a grand yeah. introduction every time you meet like a brand new enemy, which like, I love. Oh, a fucking boss. Way. And then we we we, we there took you go, man. First, you're the first. Yeah, whatever. Time. First f bomb of the night. And, and then we we took out that one guy. And we're like, oh damn. And then like two of them show up. We're like, oh, I guess it's not a boss. It's just like a hard ass regular. The, like Devil those McCry night guys. Remember what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. Spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> Devil May Cry and Devil May Cry Two did them, or actually all three of them have done that. Yeah, that's what you're saying. So like, because you don't remember. It's kind of like a. Keep in mind, uh, I haven't played the game, so dude, like we, everything we should... he's everything he like he was like, oh, they did that in one and two. Well, and yeah, for a little. By back... the way, like we might spoil one, two, and three, if we can remember the spoilers for hey, two. I, I won't. But <laughs> anyone who's paying attention to this probably has already played the first three, except for. You know, I think the only person here hasn't played the first three or David. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Well, I so, messed around on the first one. You beat all. You beat the first three, three, right? Or you, no, you didn't play two. No, I I, I played all. Of them. So, I but you beat two. Well. I started and I know like this is crap and I just watched my room. No excuses. Beat no it. excuses. You didn't beat it. I, yeah. I watched it in its entirety. Oh, you watched it? So you know what happened. Okay, so you know. Well the the deal was was he was gonna play through his Dante. I was gonna play through his stupid you know, Shuriken throwing bitch, whatever her Lucia. Lucia, whatever. I, 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 I and, and then like and that that was the plan, like he was gonna play through it. And he played through it and I started and I was like, I don't like this. So I ended up just like kinda watching him play through Dante's mission. I never actually played through Lucia. He went back later, but... Was that was my roommate at the time. I actually I really want Lucia to make an appearance in this. Oh. I don't know why. Really? I don't, I don't know why. Just watching that, that history... It seems the like install. they want to forget everything about that game. <laughs> but they mentioned it, right? They, they, they mentioned the whole story. They went into detail on the whole story of 2. Oh, by the way, if anybody's watching, and and like they're, they're going to post in the thread later that, that I, I set up, can Dante... This is just a question. Can Dante... I, I could post an ask for it, but can Dante change his stances? I know he changes them with the D-pad while he's like mid combo or mi in the mid air, or does he have to be on the ground to change them? I think you can. That's, change that's what I'm curious about. This one. No, in, no, in this one. No, no in three, you, you had to go into like the slow ass menu. Actually, you couldn't even do it in the menu. You, you had to go to one of those divinity statues and change it there. Whoa, whoa. Have you so all played Dante three yet? Three or three special edition? No, we haven't gotten to Dante. Okay, yet. good. I, I hear it's later. You said, you said special edition they change it. No, Special Edition, no, no, it's Devil May Cry 4 where they switch it to Instant Change. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. cool. So this is the first time. Yeah, it's the first which, That's why I'm excited about which is, it, Which is going to touch on something that I want to talk about in a few minutes, but we'll save that a little bit later when we're actually getting into the gameplay of it, or the meat of the gameplay. I can't but wait to start seeing my combo. i got to ask, I've asked this question several times before, but is anybody else really excited about Nero being in it at all? I, I love Nero I as a new character. Nero. Really? Because you're going to be playing as from seventy uh, 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 percent of the game. No, no, no. In terms of its mechanics and gameplay, it's really cool. It's fresh, you know. I mean, so what could you? That grapple up? mechanic has sort of been done in Onimusha Three, but it's still it's faster paced. I mean, I like the way you can like pull them into the air and do combos. But as far as the the character itself, I love the character. Really? Oh my god! And I think it's the, uh, I'm okay with like you. Just you hate him. He, uh, you like him. He hates him. I'm kind of in the middle. I don't care. Nick is, I think has always been kind of. But the then again. Though. But then again. Like that, no, what's, <laughs> wait, what do you hate about him exactly? He's just... You're... He's the quiet... He's not Dante. He's the quiet... He's not even kid. quiet. He's sort of like... 
they didn't make him different enough from Dante. He still delivers like those one-liners and stuff. He's kind of just a Dante like a lame Dante. Basically. He's kind of like a younger, arrogant version of Dante. Yeah, he's like maybe Dante mixed with Squall or something from Final Fantasy. Or maybe he's just the Dante from Devil May Cry Three. I have no previous experience, so for me, I'm like, yeah, this guy uh, never played a Devil May But to me, I think this. the character works. I'm really like I've said in previous podcasts. I'm really. I'm really intrigued by the relationship between here and that girl Kiri. Oh, yeah. I like it. I, the fact that he's like yeah. protecting her and stuff, so, like, like she's that, that seems very. very I can't like, tell if it's a romantic thing or no, if it's like a little sister so, thing that, or no, what. That, but, yeah, but haven't you seen that before? It seems it feels like. Something. What's wrong with, have, if seeing, with, with seeing it before? If, I mean, it's still good. They do it if they ex, if they but do so it well. Far, so far, they haven't. It's just that really, I love it. I was like so blown far, away just by just in that scene in the beginning, and then that was it. But it's. He runs off to I'm interested, thing. but like oh, the necklace gets stepped on out of the box, oh, and then she puts it. I on think something's like, gonna happen. She's wearing it. It's it's uh, it's alluding to something you're probably gonna find out later. Right, about yeah, the I, I understand. Yeah, I understand. I think technique. there might be a character change that happens in Euro. Something's gonna happen to him. I just have this feeling, and I think oh, I love this song. I think uh, he's gonna become a different character, maybe more serious. Because yeah. now he's sort of like, like I said, like they're, a they're lame Dante. Some crazy First thing of all, where he's like Dante's son. Or, I don't. Uh, I don't here's know, the thing. Right? No spoilers in this. When, story, it, when it comes to the, the when it comes to the relationship between him, him and the girl, if you watch the trailers, you should already know this. Should I say it? I mean, yes, they've all fanboys. Th- they allude. <laughs> what is this? I'm tr- Nick, shut is? up! I don't know what this is. Please, um, please would you stop? Watch our show. <laughs> okay, shut up. Okay. In the trailers, they allude to the fact that this guy's a Turok the- fan. Turok. No, I'm just. I can't go. Go ahead. Ah, so. <laughs> So they alluded to the fact that the whole that whole uh, island or whatever the people on the island worship worship Sparta. Yeah. But they dem- they despise demons. Wait, wait, is this the same world or? What is do you it mean, a same world or what? Oh, it's, it's just a city. It's like a it's island. A it's an island where these, these people living on this island worship Sparta. Okay. But they de- they de- they de- uh, despise demons as a whole. And let's not talk can... about the first scene because that's pretty badass. But, and it is yeah. a spoiler. But they consider Sparta to be an exception because he fought for, for mankind and tried to destroy them. So Sparta's kind of an exception. So they don't like demons, obviously. But then in the trailer they allude to the fact that, you know, Nero obviously has that demon arm on him. So, and then so she, eventually, she eventually discovers that he has his demon arm, so he's not totally human. So she kind of, like, she's, that's going to, like, when sever she, their when relationship. When did this happen? Ah, fuck this. No, you get you. you didn't we'll watch figure the out the story. If you didn't watch the, or if you even if you just watch the main intro, if you if you don't touch the the controller when the, the main menu's on, it goes to that long, like, slew of cutscenes and stuff from the game. It shows yeah. it shows that it shows her freaking out because she sees he has that arm. So it kind of like severs the relationship, which I think is pretty cool. He's got headphones at the beginning. He's all sitting. There. I oh, like the headphones. No. Oh my god! I'm no! Mad. I'm oh. pissed. I thought it was okay. Off. I thought it was okay, but it's oh, just so Jesus. like the headphones. Just what the heck are they doing in the middle? It of reminds this? me of uh, Jin's accessory in Tekken Five. He could put the headphones around his neck. I was like, what's the point of this? This is the stupidest thing ever. I Same like thing. the headphones. Damn it, y'all hit y'all. No, I said it's fine. It's just. He's all like sitting back with his arm in a sling. He's all like. David can't complain, dude. He used to walk around campus with this big ass like Martian headphones on. What are you on. talking about? He also used, used to, to do he that. He also used to carry books like this. I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, I did. I used to carry books like this <laughs> in high school. Anyways, anyways, I wanna I wanna get your impressions of, of somebody who's like never played a Devil May Cry game, because the series, believe it, I mean, the series. Some people say it hasn't evolved much, but. There's not a lot of games out now, like now, like in the current gen consoles that are, you know, very much like it. There's not a lot of action games, you know. Well, I think There's been a lot of shooters and stuff, but there hasn't been this type of, like, really fast-paced, in-depth, like action. Well, what, game. what exactly would you evolve? I think Nero is kind of their way of evolving the series. Uh, well, in a okay, way. I'm not bad. I mean, like I said, we haven't played it much. I'm not saying that the series has evolved. I'm not saying that at all. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying like, I, other reviews have been saying that the sh- the game hasn't evolved much over the years. But I, I want to ask him. As a person who's never played the previous games, how does he view it? You know, because he doesn't understand this. Oh, maybe it hasn't evolved. He's like a first timer, right? Yeah. Or, so, what are your impressions on the game? That's what I wanted to say, man, dude. I absolutely love the combat. Yeah. It's so the thing. A problem that the thing I, I think you should point out to people is that watching the game and playing the game are two completely different things. Yeah. Because definitely, I used to watch Brad play three a lot. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And I saw those combo videos. I was like, wow, yeah. that's, that's complex. But you don't understand what's going on. It, it flows so smoothly when you're doing well, it. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't until I was sitting there like, is that one mission where you have to slam duck the guys? Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, I can't 
what? Okay, and then you, you're trying to do it, and you can't get the buttons 100% right. And then the one time where you get it right, you finally get and then it down, right? you're like, oh, okay, you got to hold L while doing that, then let go, then hit it, and then hold it again, and then just alternate between the two, and then you get it right down, and it's just... you. But it feels good. Here's the great thing. Like, you've seen that Hell Sloth like combo video I've shown you, right? Yeah. And you're like, well, this is kind of cool, but I don't understand what's going on. When you play Dante, and you see how quickly he could change his, like, his, his like... Body. His like gun weapons oh. and then his his melee weapons and I guess now his styles mid combo mid air you're gonna start to like holy shit realize when you go back to watch these videos just how much like right. craziness that's, is that's actually what I'm really going excited on. About. This is what I'm excited about in the game. It's and just... I can't even fathom like how they're gonna be able to figure in those style changes into the combo system yeah. if it's like I mean, the precision be. involved. It kind of makes me wonder <coughs> about like games like um, like Bioshock like. Because I watched somebody play Bioshock, and I'm wondering if that... Yeah, if, see, if, playing if Bioshock, playing is, a Bioshock different is different than watching, watching it. Because I watched Granger play it, and that, that, that's the way it is with a lot of games out there. You, you, but I like to think Bioshock is... There's, Which makes it work, because we're going to do our Condemned playthrough. Are y'all going to enjoy playing con watching Condemned? No, because con Condemned, there's some sort of storyline, and it's it's like watching a movie you where... You Doesn't like, Cry doesn't have a storyline? No, no. No, no. Well, oh, I'm surprised no. why you don't like Bioshock because no. it does have a certain atmosphere. No, no. Even what if you're are you talking watching? about, Devil May Cry is not the same as Condemned. Condemned's like a mystery. So yeah, like, they're, every they're step, very different, very every different. step. Devil May Cry Four has been pretty mysterious so far. No, not at all. No, but Condemned just like fluky. in terms of, in terms of this is the first time I'm going I'm going I've gone into a Devil May Cry game, not knowing. I don't even know who I'm fighting. I don't want to spoil what's anything, going on. but like, what questions are there? There's really not too many questions. Just like, wait. Hero's arm. Okay. Just wait. Devil May Cry is traditionally like. Introduce like major story elements like not until like maybe halfway through the think game. About, I mean, his arm, like you said, is one. How is he related? How is he? Does, how does he relate to Dante? I it's think. the same thing. It's his arm. It's the whole thing. Like I said, just what he does. It's just because it's just that one. Question. You've never played a Devil May Cry. You game. haven't hit that. You, you're probably just maybe maybe a third of the way through. Maybe right. not even. No, I don't think when you hit the halfway point, the story's gonna kick in a lot more. Right. A lot Devil of stuff May Cry three. Together. Devil May Cry three with the jester. You remember yeah, the Devil May yeah. Cry? I didn't see that coming. That, that's around. the thing. Nobody knows what's going on. Every Devil May Cry game, you, you stumble into like these big bosses and they just want to kill you. And it's not until halfway into the game that you start encountering like the, the, encountering the first, like the story boss, bosses and stuff. The first big boss I fought. Bur wait, awesome. Burial or After Burial? No, no, no. Burial's a... I've only played the first he's a, two he's a, he's a, No, exactly. He's you a weren't punk. doing the cool Burial stuff. I saw videos of like Nero actually juggling like Burial. And that's awesome. Like, knocking... Hey, did you do that stuff? Were you using your slam dunk on him? Hell yeah. You could, like, pull him up in there and, like, knock him up in there but and stuff. But that, that final feeling, like, the, he actually got me down to a little... He got slow, me down, too. Yeah, he got me down to lower life. And I thought I was going to die, and I was like, I saw a green orb, and then I was like, nah. Now I'm going for it. And I ran up to oh. him. He went to slash his sword down, and I gra I locked under his head, pulled myself up, and then, I, and then I slashed him once, and he turned all red, you know, and I grabbed him, and I... Bought him up and I slammed him down yeah. to the ground. And that's how he died. I thought that that, that grapple mechanic makes oh, boss awesome. fights like really interesting. Although I do remember like in only Onimusha three when you were playing Jean Reno's character. Yeah. Like they had things where it would be really cool. Like his grapple mechanics would be really cool in boss fights as well. Like there, I remember there's this real like cool boss and you had to like get around him and you could like grab onto this thing above him and like get on the other side. And I just love that kind of. You know, positioning mechanic. You know, because he's he, he can't dodge very well, but being able to propel himself via his grapple arm is pretty cool. Yeah. So I think I think it has a lot a lot of potential. I mean, I can't wait to see it. The boss characters in Devil May Cry have always been amazing. Yeah. Well, although I hear you know you're gonna be fighting them a whole whole, whole hell of a lot, well, but that's cool because they always get harder. You mean re re repetitiveness? But see, that's I, the just, cool I just hope it's not like so the brutal. Like, over again? A couple times, like in, in Devil May Cry One, you fuck the, they, they the giant, the Griffin, the giant owl guy. You fuck yeah. Phantom, the spider. No, twice. you fight him multiple times. And then there's the boss in Devil May Cry One, who when he swallows you up, you go inside his body. You have to fight oh. shadow versions of the previous bosses and Is that stuff. Where you go just to get back layer? out and finish, continue the boss fight. Uh, just, just, yeah, throw throw that out the door. <laughs> Is that is that the one where you go the the giant like flying whale thing swallows you? Yeah, it's not a whale. Well, I mean, it looks like a freaking whale. It's, it's a nightmare shadow. <laughs> it's, 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 whatever. <coughs> I thought that was that was really cool because after you finally finish that level, and he comes crashing down to the city, and then he, you're like, lady's like watching. Yeah, him, yeah, and then all of a sudden his eye like splits down the middle, and then Dante comes flying yeah. out of the thing's eye. That was awesome. In Devil May Cry three, there's that mission where basically you have to fight every boss like legitimately. And like to, to yeah. beat that mission to go on, it's so frustrating and hard too. But uh, because cool. if you use like your vital stars on some of the earlier bosses, you might totally screw yourself later. So what do you think about the difficulty? 
so difficulty. Far. It's, not it, it's been a piece of cake so yeah. far, dude. That's a, dude, I wasn't. Even Devil May Cry three. You get stuck on mission two. The mission two boss like forever, dude. No, it's not and every like time that. you die. Because I played the original version. Yeah, when you die, you like I start right back right with the boss. Yeah. I haven't died uh -huh. once yet. I, I think I'm, I'm think I'm probably gonna die maybe a few times, but when I don't think this is gonna be anywhere near Devil May Cry three difficulty. You beat three, right? Yeah. You went through uh, the regular version or the special edition? I when I played through, I, I played through the regular edition, and then I. Traded in the regular one because I bought that the triple pack yeah, of Halo yeah, Three yeah. and that had a special edition. So I have special edition right now. Yeah. I, just, when I actually played through it. So so that no just keep it just keep it. Oh so, so, well he's go ahead get the phone. So he he has oh. that system where uh, yeah Devil May Cry Three had that system where if you die you have to start a mission over unless you have one of those gold orbs that lets you like just continue the fucking mission or the yeah. mission and then special edition changes. Which they're really hard to come by. I yeah. I recall. I mean they're expensive as hell and yeah. they're. Special Edition changed the property of that gold uh, thing to where instead of just continuing the mission, <laughs> you get to continue instantly from right then and there, yeah. you know? And then they just let you continue anytime. You so actually were able to select that. So, have you all died at all? Freaking Schnotty was trying to get some airtime. That was Josh? <laughs> that was yeah. Hi, Josh. Who Josh is watching? Yeah. yeah. Died a couple times. But he probably saw me check my phone. I was like, is that... Because it said Josh. I had like three Joshes on my phone. I thought it was one of my other friends. We've died a couple times. What, what was Sorry, it, uh, Josh? Huh? You you died a couple times, right? Yeah, yeah I died a couple play. times. Um, that, just because I'm that real boss, I'm second boss. I'm real stubborn. and I don't want to use my life. So yeah, I want to beat him like on one life. But, but see, that's how it is in Devil May Cry. They give they give you a vital star, and with the continue yeah. system, it's like you can use your vital star. But if you lose, you're gonna continue, and that star is gonna be gone. Well, that, so you want to like kind of master the boss, and then if you get really really close, and you just kind of mess up, then use your vital star. No, because see, I li I like the fact. Sometimes my, my worry is that I, I don't want to have to like go play it. That's one reason why I don't go play the first one or the but third one. here's the thing. You can only carry so many. No, but I don't so want to start the whole damn level. I'm one of those people who are like, I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it until I have to use it. And then, you know, I will But so then I, if you wait, you, you end up not losing your chance to do <coughs> Exactly. That's the whole thing. So I like the fact that you get to start right at the boss. That seems like something that's going to make me finish this game. Whereas if I had to like start all over again, just because I, you know, screwed up on the boss... That's what that I goes do, back I to me, like, yeah, but you could just keep trying though. No, but you know? some games like that where they they make you start the whole level over again. It's horrible, dude. It, it, especially it's, for a game like this. It makes it, it makes the difficulty to a like point. It, like I was when I was playing. No, no I don't. I don't mind if they make. It's the, just they, it's they, tedious. They, they can make no, but it's fine. They make the make the boss battles incredibly incredibly difficult. Just like No More Heroes. But let's see. Start, start you over at the beginning of the boss. The way battle, Devil yeah. May Cry One like kind of balanced it's so that frustrating. out. Frustrating. Yeah. The way Devil May Cry One balanced that out because it was similar. But the thing is, when you fought on a stage with the major boss, there wasn't much of a mission. You kind of just went maybe to a couple of rooms and you started the boss. So if you had to restart the mission, it wasn't that big a deal. But in Devil May Cry Three, they had some like sub bosses that were really hard yeah. to where you had to do like a long ass mission just to get to it and that. it's not like that the mission it shouldn't force you to re repeat the mission because it's not like that's the hard part it's the boss that you need to keep practicing yet you just had to repeat that tedium over there were some sub bosses in like Dumbly Cry 3 that had, that were incredibly hard they had to fight over yeah, them. like those things so the wings that if, when they close their wings they're, they're impenetrable and stuff do you remember those they were on the tower when you're heading up, up the tower, but I can't. I think I know what you're talking about. Like a shadow. Those, you those things piss me off so yeah, much, yeah, yeah. so much. I do them over and over again, and then I just start all over. Yeah, and and those were the toughest spots in Devil May Cry 3. Not just like a hard boss fight where there wasn't much else. Like the like the like most of the Virgil boss fights, they were just like that was pretty much the only mission. Yeah. But then it was some of those sub bosses or some of those bosses where you had to do that mission first, and that's where it became the most tedious. Have y'all run across any missions in Devil May Cry 4 out of the six y'all played that are like six short, seven. that are really really short? Um, because the first one, uh, I mean the first one was just you know the tutorial mission where you fight Dante and you do that thing in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, that was but, kind of annoying. But the second well, one, you, what, what but the second one that was just like an, a regular level that finished with a boss fight. I mean that and that to me like 45 minutes or something like that. Yes. Come in. No. No. <laughs> but uh. Yeah. He's going to the store. It's Aaron, guys. Yeah. Let me get him later. <laughs> oh, what's up with today? Why are you <laughs> so <laughs> It's never this bad. Um, it's because they know it's our... Are you smell the air? You smell the air? <laughs> what does that mean? He's under the influence. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh. <So. coughs> but, uh... But, yeah, that's one thing I wanted to touch on a second ago. Um, I forgot what made me think about it. But... If you look at, if you look at all at the, uh, if you go to the main menu, you can look at the, uh, 
the items and the bosses and the the, char the enemy characters and the weapons and stuff, and it gives you like a like a write up on all of them. I haven't seen that yet. Uh, well, if you look at it, it will tell you how many you've unlocked out of how many there are total in the game. Yeah. It it'll, says you can click on weapons, and it'll tell you. All, and it separates a Nero and Dante. If you look at Dante, Dante so should had, have a He has weapons. seven weapons that you can get in the game. If you look at Nero, he has three. But you play as the game. Seven, you play seventy percent of the game is Nero, which makes you think. 30% of the game you play as Dante, but you have seven weapons. Well, that's because Dante always has... He always had a lot of weapons. Yeah. Uh, Nero, you know, they're focusing, trying to focus more on, like, the stuff you could do with his arm mechanic. So they don't want to give him, like, you know, overwhelm you with too many weapons, yeah. I don't think. And, and you know, there's a lot of upgrades to his weapons. A lot more than... In Devil May Cry 3, he had a lot of weapons. But I think there was less upgrades for, like, an individual weapon than there is now for Nero. Yeah. So, I mean, he still has a ton of moves, and... And re realistically speaking, like you should never have more than three weapons. I, I don't. I don't know if uh, because in Devil May Cry three, you can only carry two at a time. Yeah. And switch between the two. I think you know, and you always had to have the pain in the ass of like switching them out via your menu to to get to the point where you could s quick switch between the two. Yeah. So you you because it's so, so much of a hassle, you sort of tend to ignore like a couple of the weapons. Not even. Most of them weren't even all that balanced, anyways. What's so funny? I'm sorry, y'all are talking about three. I'm sitting here like, man. Sorry, so <laughs> this loser hasn't played three. Yeah, no. seriously. Like, See, this is this is where actually of playing the first three would have benefited the show. Yeah. I'm oh. just giving your impressions of. No, because that's the whole point. I thought we were doing it from a different standpoint. I know, but, well, then, well, so, but then when we do so, that, you don't, you can't. Well, so, no, so, because so, you know, well, this is a Devil May Cry four impression, <laughs> not Devil May Cry three. Let's reminisce about how great a greater game we were. This like. is about comparing it to the to the previous three. Well, so, so talk more about. I've already talked about my impressions. I enjoy it a lot. I want to play. There's it. other things to talk to about. For instance, so for instance, huh? for instance, what would you say? Weapons. Yeah, what? Well, no, I said there's a lot more to talk about. For instance, Nero's weapon and the uh, the charging. Oh the, god, uh, that's revving. horrible right now. You don't like that either. Okay. What can, you can't do anything with it. It's so freaking. Did thick. you try the demo? No, I didn't want. It's okay. horrible right now. First of all, you could probably be using it in boss fights. Second of all, no, you know, I hate how like every time you pull a gun or you're revving that thing, you're just walking. These right? guys don't know about instant it's rev yet. Slow. You can't do instant rev right now until you buy that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So that's I'm saying it'll become more useful. When I, you instant, I know. Instant rev so right now, quick. I'm not using it at all. I don't need it. It's not something that's necessary. Not, not just instant rev, but you I, also. I, I plan to save up and buy instant rev the first thing I can. But see, it's not Either just instant that rev. Or double jump. It's not just instant rev. You're that that charging of the of the weapon. Of what's it called, the revving? Yeah. Like, there's various levels of that too. So even though you've been charging up gradually, once you've charged it up, you haven't been able to do much with it. You can level that up as well, on top of like the instant rev options you get later when you. Well, how did you out. find out about this stuff? First of all, yeah, well, one, I played the demo. The instant rev was in the demo, and two, when I was looking in the menu, I saw that when you leveled up his, I forget what what it's called, the revving thing. You you unlock different moves when, once you unlock get reach certain levels of the revving. So, I mean, I'm, I can't tell you, it's going to be called a lot to you. I know how I am about games like this. Like, I'm very, very minimalist yeah. as far as... I, like, I probably not, I'm not going to buy another combo thing until, like, later. Dude, that's crazy, dude. dude Spend that's, your that's money because you I wouldn't have bought, the, I wouldn't have bought that little lunging thing if you hadn't told me to buy it. Oh, God. I was like, oh. Then just buy them. That's how you enjoy the game. No, you I spend my money on like stuff like double jump and like... Again, a stuff. guy who played through 12 without ever touching a quick inning. What happened? <coughs> I didn't finish it, by the way. I, I, I don't want to take credit for something. I haven't done. Oh yeah, yeah. I haven't finished well, it. I'm at, it's the, very, it's I'm very at the very end, right? No, you're halfway through it. <laughs> halfway through the game, dude. All right, whatever. Here we halfway. go again. Now we're talking about fun of his job. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, so you don't know what instant rev is? Not yet. Well, so far, like it's based on the demo. You know how you buy certain moves, or like he has certain special moves outside of his regular slash combos. Yeah. Maybe you'll get combos where you can rev later. But like it, when you do his lift move, you know he could he could just knock him up in the air, or he can go up with him, right? Yeah. And then uh, I bought that like lunging move, right? Yeah. Where he can lunge. I, I've just test tested with those moves in the demo. After that, if you do like a perfect timing, like rev, it'll rev a, give you a full bar like instantly, like Ooh. mid combo, and like you'll be able to do a special move, which is like a charge move version of it, you know, where you see all the fire. Yeah. But you'll be able to keep that going because. Immediately after you do that, you can rev it again if your timing is perfect. And I know just later on in the game, you'll be able to string these badass, like, instant revved combos 
it's just gonna be crazy. You see what I'm saying, right? Like, like I was, I was in the demo. I was able to do like fire version of the dash, fire version of the dash, fire version of the dash. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like knock him up in the air, like with the fast version, because I kept timing the instant rep perfectly. And I'm wondering, like, once you level up, I have to see this, Brad, before I believe it. I, oh, I'm, a, I, I, I I'm, I'm it kind perfectly. of a badass. It's not like like I don't mean a Tekken, to brag, like but just I'm kind frame. of a badass. It's not like one frame of animation. It's not that hard. But, uh, you know, it does take some practice. Perfectly did it. I was watching the one-up show, dude, and, like, they were totally calling out Shane on it because they were saying, well, you know about Instant Rev, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I use it sometimes, but it's kind of hard. And the other guys were like, it's not that hard. Like, I can do it first time. He's like, he's like, yeah, but you're a Devil May Cry expert. And then the other guy's like, yeah, but I can do it too, like, pretty easily. And they totally just embarrassed him on the spot. Kind of like you're doing to him again right now. <laughs> Sorry, Shane. Yeah. But Shane bed now. Not, not, not that Shane. I know. Ben but, um, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> there's what, oh, yeah, not that they called him, oh, he, well, he was on the show the other day, and he was playing, like, a shooter or something, and everyone's like, oh, my God. Shane? Yeah. Ben Housen? Yeah. So he's playing some shooter, I forget which. Turok? The heck no, not Turok. What shooter was he playing? I don't remember, dude. It's you, probably Call of Duty 4. You were watching the one-up show? I'm not pretty the sure one-up show, it's the Duty. podcast. It was listening to the podcast. Oh, oh. I don't think I'm, anyways. Intriguing. Oh, he's playing Unreal. I think that's what it was. Maybe. Yeah, I thought it was crazy because he doesn't typically play shooters, yeah. much less like hardcore ones like Unreal. But uh, uh, was that you that said you love the soundtrack for Devil May Cry 4? Me? Or is that what bad? soundtrack? Okay, I think all the music in Devil May Cry 4 has been great so far, except the fucking like battle like theme. You know what I'm talking about? When he gets into battle, it's it's kind of sounds like the Devil May Cry 3 one where you. You get into like, like you hey, see an enemy, it's like. At least da, 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 it's da, not da, the. Da, 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 da. As long as it's not the blue dragon boss battle. Oh my that, god. Well, what did you notice about the second boss battle music? My, that is some sort of like. My oh, off a, my yeah. roommate still comes. Yeah, into yeah, the room. yeah, yeah. Hey, remind me to play that at the end of the show. I'll play what, you the, the, the blue dragon. No, no, no the, not the fuck. Oh, you're you're not there yet. The second boss that you fight, they have like this sound clip looped in it from DDR. This this DDR song is called Superstar, and then it's the. And then that, it's a pretty good like. They they, they they it's like spliced in there, and I'm trying to figure out <coughs> why they have it there. Like I'm sure DDR didn't like make up the song originally, but I guess yeah. I'll, I'll have I don't I haven't gotten there yet. So see, I hate that fake like hardcore rock. That they I like use. that theme. See, here's the thing. I, I wish like okay, keep it with Dante because he's always used that kind of music, right? But I was hoping like as far as music goes, they would change it up for Nero a little bit. Maybe a little, something a little more on the emo side. It's just kind of a wuss. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you want? I no, that, like you want to get that's like, not what well, I want. This is one of those games. You want like Fallout gonna... Boy playing on this? No. This is one of those games. Maybe it should for Nero. Wait, they, they, have the, they have the Japanese um, singer Hyde, right? Japanese singer Hyde. They got him to do music for this. I don't know who that is. Yeah. Well, this it's is be, one it's of those better games. in No More Heroes when the only song is that damn Heavenly Stars. <laughs> this is one of those games. God damn it, dude! This is one of those games where. We're, hey, so y'all are gonna love the game for a completely different reason than I am. All the reasons you hate the game is the reason I'm gonna love the game. But uh, we all love Devil May Cry, though. Yeah. Well, I so know. far, all of us like it, right? Yeah, but I mean, the re the re the things you hate about it, I love about it, and the things I hate about it, y'all love. So I'm trying to find that song. Well, you could find it. My later. my roommate still t still. I'm listening. My roommate still walks in the room once in a while and goes, "This is the beginning." Blue Dragon. That's the, oh, that's, yeah. the, that's the boss. That's the boss. Loops over again. This is the beginning. This is the beginning. My roommate still walks around the apartment. It's horrible. Just saying that. Oh god. That was horrible. Horrible. Are you gonna play now? No. no, no. Oh. Same for the other show. The uh, I love the uh, after show. I love how with the grapple mechanic, like he doesn't always just pull the enemies to him. Like the bigger enemies, he kind of like gets pulled to the enemy. But like how you can kind of use that like. You know, advantageously. Bosses, it's obvious, but even on, like, some smaller enemies, just to kind of, like, get behind them and stuff. It's I think it's cool that you can, like, you can slash someone in the air, you can pummel them, and then you... What the hell is this? This is great is what it is. <laughs> man, it's all stop and go with Represent, them. man. Fans of the game will know. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> so, son? <coughs> so, like, you, you hit them up in the air, you juggle them a little bit, and then as they're falling, you grab them, you pull them back up, you kill them, and, and then once they turn into orbs or whatever, and there's someone across the, the room... I killed three guys just by pulling them towards me, killing them midair, and then before I hit the ground, pulling another one at me and just doing it over yeah. and over again. It's awesome, man. It's crazy. But I have a feeling that, uh, considering the fact that you only play as Dante 30% of the game, by the time you get to Dante, he's going to be so much... It's going to make him... It's going to 
No, I see, know. I've heard about this too. It's gonna make Dante seem so much more like powerful when you start playing him. He's powerful, but I hear it's very frustrating because you spend so much time, like so much of the game, like getting used to this one mechanic and perfecting it, and then they give you Dante and they throw like all of his stuff at you at once. Yeah. And some people really don't like that. But what I'm what I'm excited about is because Capcom has always tended to like do this kind of. Th I mean, like not, not not Capcom, but like the Devil May Cry series. They always give you a lot of extras, like, oh, playthrough is this character now. I have a feeling, like, you're going to be able to, like, say on hard mode, playthrough, maybe it's just Dante. I don't know. I can't confirm any of this. I haven't looked it up. But that's going to be really awesome, because I'm going to want to play through it. What I'm curious about Dante is, when you play as him, uh -huh. do you still, like, level up his stuff like you would before, or do they just give you everything? I, to be honest, I don't think you'll play as him enough to really do that, because I, I've heard you don't play with him that much. It's only like 25-30% yeah. of the game. Yeah, thirty percent of the game. Pandora, play with and Dante I don't want to spoil what Pandora. Is I have never guys. even seen Pandora. Okay, he's never seen Pandora. He doesn't know what the hell it is. I've seen footage of this, and oh my god! And they got kind of got a fight on one up because Shane thinks it's a really useful weapon, and the other guy was like, "There's no way you can use that practically in like a boss fight." It's, it's something too like slow. really just out of this world. Crazy. It's out of this freaking world. Some people have gone as far as to say that it's like one of the best like video game weapons ever, if not the best, the coolest. Just wait. Just fucking wait. Freaking wait. There you go. <coughs> Two. Two. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you're the wait, no, the only problem I have is you're the ones like, watch your language, guys. Watch your language. Watch your language. Yeah, watch your language. <laughs> whatever. How I talk. So, Anyways, uh, are we moving on to other impressions now or are we gonna just gonna be done? Devil yeah, no, Cry? I mean that's Devil May Cry. Like I said, if anybody's still watching, we're just gonna keep going like with the way we do our normal show, but we might I'll close with this. I love it so far. It's making me. I, I have a. I have a list. My I, call my, I call it my top. Wait, no. What is it? I had. There's five big games that I have that are always that are coming out. Like Devil May Cry, Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Final Fantasy. You forgot Metal the Gear. one that you got last week. Your 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 anticipated game of the year. Your big your most anticipated game. You know which one? The one you can't play because you don't have oh, the three. Oh, you haven't started it yet. Yeah. I got my X back. My my Xbox my back. X back my X back. Congratulations, back. Nick. You're, you're back today. You're special. I got it back today. You, uh, let me get you a gold star. I for, for getting it. You gonna put down Devil May Cry to play that far? No, superior no. Game? I only play. I, I like to keep playing two games at a time. So once I beat so either play? Devil May Cry or No More Heroes, I'm playing Devil May Cry uh, No More Heroes right now. So once I beat one those of those, those are very similar but different games. My only main I don't think anything is really similar with No More Heroes. My main Devil May Cry complaint so far, and I hear it gets a lot more difficult, like halfway through, and towards the end it kind of goes out a little bit. Oh, great. But it's 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 too easy so far. I mean, it looks easier than even. You know, it seems easier than even Devil May Cry 1. Well, for me... Which would, I guess I would say is easier As long as I'm three. enjoying and having fun playing the game, I really don't care how difficult it is. It's not on Devil May Cry because 2 Because, like, you're going to hear about me complaining in a second about No More Heroes. Hmm. I almost gave up on that game. Really? Too hard? Or, just that one boss fight pissed me off to the point of... I was like, I do Well, so let's move on. Maybe we can do some... Like on the on the spot comparisons to No More Heroes. Yeah, let's not hang on too long because we're. Well, all I wanted to say about Devil May Cry is that it, it really like Devil May Cry out of those five games just listed is like the one game that I really wasn't looking forward to that much. Yeah. Now that I I played it, like it's making it's bringing back all those memories oh from the God. first one. And it's just it's yeah. really it looks. It reminded it looks, me so much of how why I'll, how much I love. I'll, I'll at Cry. least play until I see Lady. It looks so and beautiful, dude. And then I'll just damn it. If you we're quit, gonna have to do it. If you play if you fight, if you get to Lady and then you quit. I'm gonna lose all respect for you. All really? Not he's that not, I have he's much not for gonna you quit anyway. the game. There's no way. What 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 I want when I want to see a test like this game is so beautiful and so crisp, but it doesn't have that like over the top like like you know the stuff early next gen games had uh, like bloom lighting stuff that were over overdone. It was obvious. I mean, you could tell like it was a next gen game, but this is so like clean and seamless that it just I, looks like, like where everything looked like looked like it was like glossy. Yeah, stuff like yeah. that. It doesn't have that shellacking of next gen. Where they just throw next gen things on it. It's just it crisp and beautiful out. and even the little orbs are all like clean and crisp. That I swear cool. to you, if you go back and dev watch Devil May Cry, play Devil May Cry 3, oh my god. I mean, uh, the, it Dude, looks so terrible. It always goes back to Devil May Cry 3. If you had played it, you'd understand. I think no, it's the best one in the this, series. What, this one? Okay. I think I think technically, I mean like in terms of gameplay, it's the best. Devil May Cry 1 still my favorite. But I have a feeling four is gonna end up being my favorite. Just there's a lot to compare. You know? I think it's, I think four will be my favorite. You're an idiot. <laughs> but you also said on the blog that you don't think that you have to go back and play the 
the, the previous games. I still oh, think yeah, you need to come true. back that and go true. play the first one. No, but I don't you see have how you get first, first back. One. Like, I don't want to be frustrated like that. Like, back then you had no choice because that was the only game you play could, and you play it. Now, it's to a point where you don't have to do that anymore, so... I it's like, the, I it's like playing, playing, it's playing... It's like going... Yep. It's like playing Mario 64 now when you've already played, like, Galaxy or, like, Sunshine. It's like, oh, okay. Well, you're 64 is still a good game. No, I mean, you're going to miss out on some moments. 64 is good, but like, the thing is you have to go back and mess with the, like, the cameras. But there are so and many the... cool moments in Don't Make and you know what's 1 good? and 3 that are just, like, mind-blowing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like... But, but, but you... then there's those... How, what happens if I get my mind blown out in this game and then... I go back and like, oh, okay. I don't think it's still a good game. I don't think seeing Devil May Cry 4 is gonna make those moments in Devil May Cry 1. The first big boss. Eight, eight. Oh, I was like, holy shit! All right, guys, shit. I'll see y'all later. I'm going home right now. Oh, my bad. That's me. That's one for me. But what, what I'm saying is like, lock me up. You're not gonna be able to like, re because when you, especially when you play Dante, you're gonna get all probably anything that he's ever gotten in a previous Devil May Cry. And then in Devil May Cry 1, there's that moment where you play through the entire game with like, <laughs> what, what, like the Rebellion or whatever, or his main sword. Yeah. And then there's that moment where you get the Ifrit. And like when you first experience that like raw like, like power of Ifrit for the first time, it's like an awesome moment. And it looks beautiful. And you know he's already gonna have messed around with it when he gets Dante. You know, so it's gonna be. Is he? At, is, is Dante gonna he's have, gonna have the same moments, weapons? But I know he's got seven weapons. I imagine he's gonna. We're talking about four, David. We're talking about four. He wants to move on and talk about. All right, let's move on because David wants to move on. <coughs> oh, don't move on. Cause I want to move on. You can talk about this all night. It's, uh, they just right. seem like two little guys like building on each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah Sorry, yeah, yeah. we're true fans of the series. That's yeah. good. But again, we're like Mr. Six Missions. What? Yeah, exactly. We're like six missions in. <laughs> all right. All right. So shut up. All right. So, what else y'all playing? Who's, yeah. who's going first? Uh, what about David? David, well, uh, I've been I've been hard at work trying to finish Number no Heroes. Last time we talked about it, what was I was like fourth? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I played a little bit more. Um, I don't want to spoil. I really, really am trying. Don't, don't definitely I'm, don't spoil. I'm me. really trying to pick my words carefully and not try to spoil this for anybody. Please yeah, do. There's not going to be any spoilers. He's not an idiot. What? Who? Me? Yeah. I'm trying not to. I, you don't I, have to I kind of make a made a mistake. What are you potentially it. spoiling here? Would you say, just say boss well, numbers. Like, like, yeah, twists and turns and, you know, Suda always does stuff like this where he uh, likes to try to do weird stuff. And tell, just you just told me boss numbers. You told me you finished it technically. Yeah, I I finished it. And oh, so you beat 10. Yeah, there's an... Yeah, I'm I'm number one in the regular ones. There you go. But it, does the game over? Did the credits roll? Yeah. But, but, you then, can, but then there's an option to view... That's just a... Uh, view... You know, no, it says... It's play Street Fighter on, on, on level 8 to get the real thing or whatever. Yeah, it's, no, I've looked it up, dude. That's the whole point. I've looked it up. I know what you're supposed to do. What is the game? Different? So I can't go any further without... All right, all right, all right. I really it there, it there. I really cannot is go any really further. Is it really that big? Like, okay, uh, uh, you know what? He's right, he's right. Crap. I really Impressions, cannot. though. Did you enjoy what you played so far? Absolutely love the game. Absolutely, absolutely love the game. The combat. I'm is... glad because last time we talked about it, you were. So, yeah, yeah, but that was a while back. That was when I was like eight. Now that I'm one, oh. I love. What I love is the boss battles. Is that <coughs> you go? <coughs> Suda has this thing where he kind of like makes the levels real. Like he he'll make like really easy ones here and there. Like easy, he'll give you an easy boss battle or an easy level, and like to, here you go to make you feel better. And you're like, what? That was it? But a, a lot of people. Oh, um, you know, and then you're like, oh. Okay, uh, why do you do that for? He doesn't like, have a purpose. Like, I don't know. Some well, people he, might blame he, he didn't kill her, on game no, balance, you know. He didn't kill her seven. No, no, no. He didn't kill her seven. Like where one of the bosses, you didn't really have to fight her. You, you just sit there and it's like, see who can shoot the other person more. So the first time I fought the boss, I, w I had masked the Smith. So I was all slowly shooting these grenades like one by one, and it was like, and she was all sitting there with the pistol going, shooting me. So I died, and I was like, well, that sucks. And the next time I went in there, I went with Khan, which he has, like, the fastest gun. So I was like, <laughs> he had double gun shooting. Yeah. And that's all. It just was a t button tapping match for 30 seconds, or like a minute and 30. <coughs> it's just who can, kill or seven it, spoilers. It's, well, <laughs> it's just to see who can tap faster, and that was the boss battle. Yeah. You know, and so he does stuff like that in this game during the level and also some of the boss battles where you're like, oh, okay. Uh, that's cool. I like it because it's like refreshing because it's, you know, oh, I don't want to have to sit there and like, yeah. it would suck if every mission was like, oh, exactly I gotta fight through every, go I gotta fight through this wave. Because there's a couple times the missions are harder than the boss battles where like, you just like fighting through waves of enemies like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna make it. And then you barely make it to the boss battle and no problem. You know? Yeah. 
So overall, I mean, I, I want to keep this like moving you, on because you, you've talked you, about them. You fought Shinobu, and I fought. You, had, you fought. You be had, care, be I, know, I know. I'll just say this: I fought. It was rank eight, I believe. Yeah, yeah rank eight, and the, the level leading up to it was pretty simple. I get there, and then this this bitch <laughs> kicks my ass. At least Dude, 15 to 20 it's times. It's not even... It's not even... It's that damn move. That instant kill move that she keeps doing. I got her down to literally... You could... Like, if you look at her life bar, you could not see any... Yeah, any red like one on more it. hit, right? She was dead. The bitch was dead. And then okay. all of a sudden, she hits me with this crazy move where she hits me from side. I had a full heart still at one point. Yeah, yeah. And she killed me. Dude, Brad saw me, I dude. almost broke my Wii twice. Yeah. I had to walk... I was watching him. I just had to walk out because it got so boring. He had to fight him like... He had to fight her like five times or something. Was I was annoying. literally on the no, verge and, of bringing and, and, you know, it. The problem was three times I was. I had her. And she, she, you know she does that weird one move that she shoots out stuff? Yeah. She does it once, and then later on she's doing it like she's multiple doing it like, times. Yeah, like, yeah. I, you know what I love about the game, though? You have to know your surroundings. Yes. You have to be constantly aware, like, and especially in the Shinobi battle, because of all the pillars. Yeah. Sometimes, bam, you get stuck on one, one of the pillars trying it's to roll, and then, do 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 do, you get hit by five things at one time, and you're dead. The, the pillar also sometimes the pillar would, if you if you lock onto her and you roll around a pillar, sometimes it would just take the lock off off, and then yeah. all of a sudden, I the camera would switch all of a sudden, <coughs> and I'd be trying to roll, and I'd roll I, I, right I, into I, it. I like that crappy Zelda Z target. I, 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 I like it. I like the fact that it's like that. It's not. But here's the thing, when you finally beat all the bosses, so far at least, it's really it pays off, like, just seeing how each one ends is just That's awesome. like, those, those are the coolest moments of the game so far. My problems, at least from what I've seen, are just like, the tedious stuff you have to do between those missions. Yeah, and I don't think and it's like, and, and you said you love the combat. Better. It's, it's fun, it's but like, better. but like, you barely scratched the surface of Devil May Cry's combat and, and, and 4. Like, how would you compare the two combat systems? <laughs> well, well, it's not about the systems, I think it's about the, how it plays. I love the fact, uh, I'm not spoiling anything here, the last boss battle that I fought, first time I fought the boss, killed me. Like, I didn't hit the boss once. Just completely, I was like, what the crap, how, do, how am I even going to even, how do I even scratch the boss, I don't even know how. Yeah. And then the next time, I got like, two hits. I was like, yeah. oh, okay, I can, I can hit him, I can hit the boss right here, when this move happens. There's an opening for a split second. Bam! I can hit him. Yeah. And then next time, like I got a fourth life, and I was like, Oh my gosh! And this, every, every time you find like you, it's all about experimenting and finding these little weaknesses when you're safe. It's just like kind of like Tekken. When you're safe to attack him, and when you're sitting that's what I realized. When I started actually doing damage to Shinobu, yeah. You gotta like. Here's the thing. There's, I was getting so frustrated. Then I realized you just problem, run in there and you try to swipe yeah, him. You gotta have patience in this game. If you if you go in yeah. running and swinging, you that's, die. That's what and I love nothing compares to that first time. I fought Sephiroth in Kingdom Hearts because he could kill you so fast, especially if you're not maxed out level. But the thing is, is you don't even start seeing damage on him. Like he has this ridiculous life bar, and you don't even start knocking it down in damage until you like, you know, like do a lot of damage to him. So it's just so like disheartening because he can kill you so fast, and you have to like start fighting perfectly before you even realize that you're effectively hurting him. Yeah. And that was one of the most intimidating starts of like a boss fight I've ever seen. It was crazy. This is also weird. Some bosses, like the easy bosses, they'll put like two or three of the, the life chests in the room with you. So you're like, oh crap, I'm almost done, dead. You run over, you get some new life, you go back. <coughs> the, the, the boss I, that I almost traded the game in for because I hated it so much, it there was one box and oh. I was like, yeah, there was, where was there a second one? In, wait, wait, wait. Are you talking it's about Shinobu? Life, life box? Or yeah, the pink box that gives you life. Yeah, they only give you one. Only one life box. Only oh, They give you one life box, one battery life box. In every single one? Every boss battle. Maybe not the first couple. Why do I think there's two? There's two boxes, just not... I know, but one was, one was battery life and one's... Yeah. Oh, By the way, we're talking about No More Heroes, guys. I mean, I know we're not talking about Devil May Cry anymore, but we, we talked about that for already like 40 minutes, so we're just kind of moving on. What a... Uh, so, final impressions, you're currently frustrated. No, no, I was frustrated, but when I finally beat the boss, it made it all go away. I was just like, that's it's awesome. Cool. Oh, have you seen the comparison? And you went back to picking up No, I, I didn't watch the comparison. Whenever you beat a boss, be careful, because I don't want to, you to hit spoilers, but the difference between the Japanese version oh, oh, and the kill scenes and yeah, the American those, ones, completely, absolutely. Those, it's the same, it it's the the same run through, but the blood completely taken out. Well, yeah. And then, like, the body. In the, in the American version is taken out? No, 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 in the Japanese. It's there's, it's there's no blood in Japanese. It's tragic. You know when you cut, when you beat death metal, 
and his arms fly off, and he's just bleeding all over the place. Yeah. No blood. That's the thing, though. It, no it's worse than he's other just games. He's sitting there with two sticks of lumps of hands. Because the blood Why? is really the, stylish. The, and the, the blood makes it so much better. It makes it so pretty. This is. It's like the redness and stuff. I thought it would be the other way around. They take it out of the American version. No, no, no. Not It's like, and you're, you're, the Japanese version, completely different. And then, like, when you, there's certain bosses you kill, like the last hit, and instead of like him, them being pieces, they just psh, disappear into like dust. When you slash him. Oh man, I would have not liked it the game. Like I gotta, crap, it looks dude. like crap. It's so bad. I like certain that's angles, probably why it's sold like shit. Certain angles are done in a certain way so the blood looks really stylish. But that's not even it doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah, there's one like where yeah. Oh man. Let, let, let's move on, let's move on. I'm really, I'm really liking number here. Anything are you playing anything else? Uh, I picked up Endless Ocean yesterday with Devil May Cry 4. <laughs> Did you play Endless Ocean? <laughs> Devil May Cry. Yeah, I was like Endless Ocean. You should have seen you should have seen our <laughs> They complement each other. Yeah, yeah, when I went in uh, John, it was the first day I got to work with our new manager, and he was like, "I was like, yeah, I'm gonna pick up Devil May Cry 4, and Endless Ocean." And he looks at me like, "That's crazy, you picked like, up Endless Ocean." So did you play it? No, I haven't played it. Yet. Is that that's uh, your what? Like your third Wii game? Fifth Wii game. Fifth Wii. Game. I finally have. You know, this was my first PS3 game, right? Did you see? Me yes, I saw that? that, and you're crazy. This is, that was my. Well, tenth, I, I technically, my tenth I technically PS3 have game. third three PS3 games, but one I got for free, and the second Brad gave me. What was the one you got for free? Heavenly Sword. Oh yeah. And then um, Brad gave me. Virtual Fighter 5. Okay, yeah, this, Cry the first, this is the first one I purchased. Oh yeah, that's not that we, I, I pick up the collector's editions of Devil Cry 4. Some of your PS3 okay. fans. The, sort the, of the, the box, the box is really pretty. It kind of, uh, the actual content inside is actually three discs. Because one disc just has the, the four episodes. Oh yeah, anime. dude, I've been thinking about picking up the anime. Well, I'm going to watch four, four episodes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch I'm gonna watch the four episodes. I just want some like story injected. Yeah. Is, is that not a reference to saying <laughs> the story in Devil May Cry? Heavenly Sword? No, I you said I wanted to know the story because <laughs> oh, I wanted to I be... thought you said you wanted some story injected into it. Yeah, like I want, no, I will inject it into me so I understand oh, what the okay. crap is going on. Okay. Right. Heavenly Sword had that. Too. Sorry, because Heavenly I... Sword is like... That's what I'm, one thing I want to talk about real quick, I guess. Oh, I guess. Just, just get it out. God, God, let, let's God finish of the War. Let's God finish of Heavenly Sword. Heavenly Sword. Like, why are those games even exist? Okay, combat, first of all, like, okay, combat, yeah, they're kind of mashing even, friendly. Yeah. They're kind of easy, so you can get away with mashing. What do you mean, why but do they exist? Listen, when you have a game like Devil May Cry where you're doing all this stuff, but see, hey, let's not kid you. Nope, you, you, God of War is good for completely other reasons exactly, exactly. besides but, but, the but combat. Combat-wise, why do those two games exist? Especially Heavenly I mean, Sword, when it's just kind of like... Heavenly Sword was kind of like a God of War. It's like a cinematic experience. Like grand scenes and vistas and everything yeah. nice. Okay, whatever. Right. Let's, well, I guess let's move on then. Okay. Are I'm not going to touch that. anything else? Um, well, I just want to move on because, you know, yeah, we're still I, in first impressions. I would impressions play Turok, but I got my Xbox back today, so I'm probably going to, after I beat No More Heroes, I'll start playing Turok, so that's about it. So, uh, uh, so, so what about you, David? Have you played anything else? Uh, I've so actually been playing soundtrack. some. I've been playing something with Brad. Uh, oh, with should we get into that? Right. Well, well, have I'm, you been playing I'm, anything individually? Here we go. Oh, no more heroes. I spent well, a whole weekend trying to finish that off. I've been playing Advance Wars. I've been playing. Oh, uh, real, real quick. This is like a third week for Advance. But I'm not. I've been talking about. It. I just, that's the wrong. Third week for No More Heroes too. It's a good game. It's a long game. Anyways, I've also tried out the Padapon demo. Some real quick impressions. By the way, the reason why I didn't try it or ask you to borrow your PSP is because I'm not playing that demo. This guy's sworn off demos. He's listen to listen. <laughs> stop, stop. We're listen not gonna to get episode it. 47. You'll know. Episode what 47. About. All right. Yeah. Um. Pat upon demo. It's so weird. It's so different. It's so strange. And like, it's like when you first pop in an import. And you're trying to figure out what's going on, trying to because cobble together. Demo. You no, know? no, not because it's a demo, but because the presentation is so. Would you compare weird. it to popping in uh, like Katamari for the first time? If you ever no, no, it? no. It's beyond that. It's like I, I, I can't understand anything. Everything's so different. Like so, I wouldn't like. I it. love that. Don't you not love that though? Where you're like, what the heck is going on? And then you start figuring it out a little by little. Like seriously, I feel like I'm playing some sort of import, and I don't understand the language. Like everything about the game is so strange. And, and like I, I can't figure out how to progress in the game because I'm attacking with my patapon and they're throwing spears over the guys, right? And and like my, the axe guys are right in front of me hacking them up and they keep throwing the spears. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Okay, maybe I got to get some guys with some axes or something. But like I, it's like I'm reading Japanese. I can't figure it out. It's it's I, bizarre. I, I have three words for you. What? Pon pon patapon. Throw the spear over the enemy and die. 
<laughs> you think that's, that's what it does? Because I can't move backwards. This, this reminds me of the time when you when you had that demo for uh, <coughs> you tried out uh, what's it called what's that music game? And you're like I can't do this music game, the PSP music game. And beats. Like, yeah, no, no, not beats. What is PSP music game? The the DJ oh. Simulator Portable. Oh, D no, but that's because that was just freaking hard. Yeah. <laughs> DJ yeah, Portable which buttons. Do I press? <laughs> no, no, this is nice. weird. Like everything about the setup of Patapon. It's more complex than I think a lot of people think. Like, there's a lot... You're setting formations and units and equipping them with things. It's it's complicated. See? You, you think but, why, but, this is why I didn't play the demo. Because I'm going to be, like, frustrated and not want to play Oh, I have a feeling that this there's going to be a barrier even in the final version. That, that's, and that's fine. But the, the thing is, you'll be the first... Ver you Sometimes you feel like you maybe you were dropped in, right? Yeah. Maybe you feel like you dropped in there and they just dropped you in there and you don't know what you're supposed to do. No, no, no. They actually introduced it from the... The demo is not like a normal demo, dude. Like it, you play through a lot of missions, and and it's not just you. I don't. You can't actually save, but if you beat the demo, you save, and you get an exclusive item that in the final version of the game that you only get what if you beat if you're one of the people that have gotten and beaten the demo, which is kind of cool, but it's not easy either. So are you gonna let me have the exclusive item then? Well, just play through the demo. All right, once you started the game. I, I think yeah, we've established that he's not. Let's move on. It's, it's interesting. I'm definitely intrigued, but I'm getting kind of getting my ass kicked. So you don't think it's something I would like, do you? Because it's twenty dollars. Since you get, since you got me Katamari, it's, I've been starting to play games like Endless Ocean. <laughs> In Final I don't think you're like. End, I think you're not gonna have like Endless Ocean. I'm gonna start that. I don't up. think it's a game that I, I bought it. Okay, I bought Endless Ocean for two main reasons. One. I, I love the box. The box is beautiful. It's fucking crazy. And the side, the side of bar, huh? Yes, I bought it for the front and the sidebar. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. It's a, it's the the box is pretty. It's a budget title. It's for the Wii, and it looks relaxing. And I've I've heard so many good things about it. Just as a non, <coughs> I I decided to pick it up. It's thirty dollars. So mine's a discount. Why not? So, you anything else? Or are we gonna move on? Well, to let's Pixel? talk about Pixel yeah, Junk. Pixel Junk Monsters for the PSP. The download. Oh, game. This is what I'm probably not gonna have much insight download, into. Download eight dollars game. It's awesome, dude. It is freaking but, awesome. But why is it awesome? Because, well... Because it's, that, I think it's because... It's I've never even heard of this game. What, what, no, I think well, it's... The more, well, it's well I, I hear these games are also funny if it's single player. It's, no, I think... I wouldn't give a crap if it was single player. What are you doing? It's like Desktop Tower Defense? No, but this is... The, what is this on? PSP... PS3 PS3 download, download okay. PSN. Thank you. Play it with us after the show, man. It's awesome. Okay. If you have time. I had, no, it's, it'll take like 15 minutes, and then you get the idea, and then you want to play it for an hour. It's, I only I think it's only fun because it's multiplayer. Because I'm sitting here playing with you, we're running around, screaming at each other, get 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 the tower up, get the tower up. Anti-air! 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 Get that anti-air anti 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 up! What happens is... Is it a download game? It's a download yeah. game. Not playing it. No, no try it. Here, 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 here's what happens. You can play it here's, on here's the Here's, the, here's the basic idea. You got like this this path, right? And you got trees all following it. And then you got like, your little village with all your little guys. And there's monsters that walk down they, the path. They come in waves. Some of them are slow and weak, uh, s small and quick, medium size and weak. Some are real fast. Some are flying. Some are flying, and some are big honking ones that walk real slow. Yeah. And so basically, we're in the very beginning where you have only three different types. Yeah. You've got anti-air turrets that you put up, like little towers. You've got arrow ones, which is like hit both. Yeah. Well, you you control little guys who run around the field, right? Right. And you go up to a tree and you turn it into a tower. Basically, you, you build up a turret using money. Like like a like a like a like a like a RTS so defense big, tower yeah, that 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 when the enemy enters at range it automatically starts attacking yeah. it. So, oh, okay. so the arrows will hit both land and air, but they're just kind of like not very powerful on either one. And then you got cannons which only hit ground, but they're hugely powerful and slow. And then you got the anti-air will just tear up air, but yeah. you can't hit anything. And these are all the only three towers that we've even unlocked. Yeah, there's, there's like, like there's like a whole spin it's wheel. It's crazy. So that's what happens. Like. But here's Tim the thing. and I run, and there's just guys coming. And you're like, get those towers up. So we're like, get, get the tower up. And like, wait, upgrade that one. Help me upgrade. Help and, me. and they go to upgrade a tower, they, and they start dancing. They stand on top of it. <laughs> they stand on it's top like of it, this. and there's an upgrade bar that goes up. And when it oh upgrades, God. it upgrades and shoots faster and, you, and does yeah. more damage. And, and, so. and, they, and they come in ways, and you don't know an enemy's coming next. So you have to make sure that you're preparing, like, For kind everything. of a balanced set of towers to take out the enemies. And then all of a sudden, like, a wave of these crazy guys come back. We're like... Holy crap, we don't have enough cannons, so we're like taking down our anti-airs because because you have money. Every time you kill an enemy, you get money, and you have a bank too, yeah. and you have to spend money to build up towers. But you can also destroy towers to get some of that money back. 
Just, it's just like so. Is it the so real it's quickly, all right. about like managing your money well? Up, you're doing your upgrades and your it's instant great. upgrades. And so it's, well. it's part of the reason this is so fun because of the pace of it. Because no, so yeah, well, it's, it's so frantic and because you're playing with somebody. And else. because when it works well, and, and and a bunch of those rock guys come down your little tunnel of like fucking cannons, and you just oh man, I yeah. love it. I love it. It's it's, it's, so, it's, it's been more than three. Really fun, dude. But like like it, it's so satisfying when you just like like rape. Like, I didn't think so because like, when I turned oh it on, when I, when I turned this on, I was like, Ugh. "You'll see, you'll see, dude." When I bought it, I was like, "Oh man, Brad, what did you get me into?" And then we played like the de the, the tutorial mission. Freaking holy! I just had a smile on my face the whole time. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I gotta see it's for me. Yeah. We were playing. We were just smiling the whole time. Like, God damn! It is crazy good. It is really fun. And then he's all screaming. How much does it cost to download? Eight dollars. Seven ninety nine. Yeah. It's plus tax. I'll or consider it. He was all so no, I would. I'd do it if you if one of your roommates would play with you. you my, my, one of my roommates would, def dude, would definitely you, play. If you play with somebody else, you really get <laughs> into it. You need two controllers or? Well, he's using my. I'm using the arcade, arcade stick. stick. Show him the stick because I only have. Show him the stick. Do you have the stick right there? No. I only have one. I only have one. What I've been using to play Pixel Junk because he only has one. Uh, I only have one. Okay, it works. Controller. It works. Throw my arcade stick, yeah, dude. Yeah. Jeez, dude. Chill out with that. Uh, so yeah, you got to try it. Dude. Yeah, it's really cool. Because you really and, get and into. We're it. only in the very beginning, dude. We're only like <coughs> four or five, six. All right, I'll do that if y'all. I wanted to keep playing. I'll do that if y'all will give uh, Turok a try. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> just, All right, no deal. I'm just playing. No deal. No deal. I, <laughs> I, I quit video games. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. If you let us borrow Turok, maybe. Yeah, you know, I'd, rather, I'd rather just let y'all borrow Lost. Y'all right can start watching. Borrow me. Lost, okay. Oh, uh, so, we haven't played anything else. Let's move on. Well, one more last impression. Uh, last night, Brad and I watched King of Kong, the documentary about oh, the, yeah, uh, yeah. King Kong record. Seriously, and go out and rent this movie. It's amazing. It's it's good. It's not. I don't think it's amazing. But well, I think it's, it's not good. like it's not like you know revolutionary in terms of filmmaking, but it's freaking entertaining and it's. It's entertaining. Hilarious. It's a you know? mockumentary. And it, it, it's fun. It's no, not no. a mockumentary. It's a this is a straight up documentary. It's a straight up documentary. These people are the King, real. King of, King That's the thing. Donkey Kong record. Yeah. And you, you know what I love about it? It's crazy, but you see some of those people, they're grown ass men acting like little kids. I'm like, what the heck, dude? Grow up. What? Well, I mean, that's that's just people. <laughs> Mr. Brian Kaku. Like, sorry, I man. mean. People act like little bitches like that in the, in the business world, too. No, it's that's just, what I'm saying. It's just, it's just weird seeing them play just, an old classic video game. It's just funny, dude. It's just funny. I'm like, I got to leave, dude. Brian Koo is like at, loser of the century, by the way. I look at that, and I'm like, man, dude. Like, I was like that in middle school. Hopefully, I'm not like that anymore. I'm like, oh, grow, out, grow out of some of that a little Brian bit. Brian Koo. <laughs> I hate that guy. You know, if you want, you can borrow it. You can watch it, dude. You, you have to watch it. It's, it's, it's good. It's good. Freaking awesome! Okay, I'll do it's that. just a great story. It feels like you're watching Rocky or something, you know? It, you're you're, you're it, really so raw. It, it's a little too too over dramatized. No, but but that's the thing. A lot of people are praising it because of that. Yeah. They're they're tired of like the the documentaries where it's like they don't. There are two sides, and yeah, both it, are good guys. And they don't and pick a side. This one, this one, it's is kind like, of telling a story. Yeah, you know? they really build it up like this, but, like Rocky versus Apollo. But you know, it also it also makes no, it seriously. more yeah, enjoyable. No, funny, and like though. he's like the evil villain. Yeah, and I'm telling you, he is kind of a yeah big dude. Yeah, and the, and the footage doesn't lie. He does some really jerky he things. Really, he goes, but by the end, you're really rooting for the main character. Yeah, you, you, he's <sighs> awesome, bad dude. dude. We need to interview that guy or something. Yeah, I know. Just we talked to him. Steve Weeby. Steve Weeby. He was in Austin, right? Come on, this, no, hell no. He was. I like, said it was made in Austin. No, no, no. no. He, he was, it premiered in Austin. He came to Austin. Oh, one okay. of the he came to the Austin premiere. And, and tried to beat his, rec his, uh, his record live. Oh, well, let's not spoil it. Let's not spoil who has the record right now. Some people don't know. Oh. Some people just watch it and know nothing about video games. It really has a wide appeal. Like, you'll see uh, movie critics, you know, who don't give crap about video games, putting this movie on their top ten of the entire year. I mean, cool. it, it got... It's one of the... It was seriously one of the best-reviewed movies of the, that came out this year. It's like at 90, 97% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, last year. Cool. Yeah, so definitely check it out. I'll definitely look into that. The King of Kong, by the way. If the King of Kong, quarters, a fist pour, full of quarters. Yeah. Which is a play on words, I think, is a, of a fistful of do dollars. The Clint Eastwood movie. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with that film. Oh my god. Nor am I. Okay, uh, moving on. I guess Blast discussion me. topics real quick. <coughs> I guess guilty pleasure real quick. Uh... I, oh, guilty I, 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 I tried out Super Swing Golf 2 because of the oh, show of the box. Cute, no, I, I, I don't oh, have any more. Because there's some cute girls, on, like anime inspired girls on Where? the front, and I swear one of them looks exactly like a girl in my uh, Japanese class. Looks exactly like her. <sighs> and dude, and you know, so I popped it in. I was trying to play it because because I wanted to unlock this character, and then like 
made me blush, dude. That like the amount of different like outfits you can pick for your characters. <laughs> did you buy? Did you buy this game? David? No, I didn't Don't buy it. But it's just he's not Japanese. It's just it's just Leo hilarious. Boo. Shut up, man. Dude, seriously. <laughs> Golly, dude. <laughs> I don't know when you like snicker on your under your breath the entire show. Let's <laughs> <laughs> not camera here. Now. But that's not, that's not why the camera's here. <laughs> okay, continue. Yes, guilty pleasure. No, that but is it's just pretty sad. It's just funny because well, it sucks because I played the it's game. It's funny you returned because he could he, she wasn't unlocked. Yeah, well, she's unlocked first of all, and second is. Not a very good golf game. <laughs> uh, is golf it? is very boring, even with the Wii Hot Shot series is good, hey, hey, hey. especially without the Wii Hey, hey, hey. What? I like golf. Really? On the video? No, we like golf golf. That's what I'm saying. Golf is vi golf very real boring life. with the Wii fun. Remote. It's like, really? especially My favorite game on Wii Sports is golf. That's because it's different. Because when you swing, it if you swing harder, you get kind of control the power. Mm -hmm. On that's, this one... That's a baseball game, dude. I, I have like... No, I'm trying to go like <laughs> this. Like on the... That's on this one, baseball. man, on this one, when I play it, maybe it's because I had a beginner, beginner mode, but you raise your arm, and when you raise your arm, the power bar goes up. Really? Right. Yeah, and exactly. So you basically just raise your arm until you get to the power that you want, then you hit A, it locks it there, and then you go like this. <laughs> and then it hits it. Yeah, so I'm like, ugh. And then you have, to, you have to sit there and watch your opponent. It's like a stroke play game. So like you have to watch them hit their ball, and it sucks. Yeah, I'll be avoiding that one then. Yeah, but... Uh, I, I, oh, do, do we have I, any... I do plan to go back and play it and unlock this really? girl and... Because, dude, some of the... Like, the story behind her is, like, hilarious. Mm. Like, she joined this tournament because she likes this one guy and she's chasing after him. I hear that the so, new Hot Shots for the PS3 that came out in Japan was that, really good. Me? I'm... I'm... Guy? <laughs> you're, you're, oh, you're my an God. American... American... Uh, American <laughs> Pie 2? When he's, like, the Shermanator... Uh, prefer I, I, prefer for Shermanation. <laughs> no, he's all like, I, I'm, I'm I about to change the future for one lucky lady. And then, what's it called? What's her name? Shannon Elizabeth? Shannon. She's like, I'm lucky lady? He's like, there's something, I don't know if you want to... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. Do we have any over-unders to, today? I was going to mention... I have, an un I have an overrated game. I find deeply overrated. Okay. This might piss off some Game Facts users if they're still watching. I think Indigo Prophecy gets way too much like cult praise. Have you played it? I I beat I beat it. Have, have you, did you play through it? You I beat did it? not. I'm not all the way. Well, I bought okay, it on the Xbox. that's why you don't think it's overrated. My God, I think that's a game which starts off with a really cool premise, but absolutely completely falls apart in in the last third of the game. Not only does the story become a story which starts off really intriguing, like a mystery, but the story becomes like sci-fi and supernatural and like it, it becomes ridiculous and it's not just the story the way you play the game like you don't walk around and investigate stuff anymore it's just all it it's just all uh like like auto cutscenes because you do this like quick time events in yeah. this game and it's like i swear to you like the last third of the game it seems like all you're doing is the quick time events and it's it's a game that that gets a lot you of praise this recently or what no, 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 I'd be like last year, but I'm just saying it's like overrated game, but it gets a lot of praise on some of these websites as being like the this really. What are you I'm trying to find? When I when I played a bit, I really enjoyed. No, but, but see, it starts off great. It starts off great. It, it reminds you of like old classic adventure games with kind of like a twist, right? Yeah. But I think it gets too much praise because the adventure genre is kind of dead. Yeah. In the end, it's really not a very good adventure game, dude. And I've, I'd have a hard time recommending it to people because of that last act of the game or the last that two sucks. acts of the game. Yeah, it, I, don't, I, I wouldn't want to pick up the I, game I now swear knowing you, that it's going to fall apart dude, at the it, end. It, it, it'll See, fall yeah, apart. You could job ruin it for us, Brad. No, that's my ass the point. Well, he's saving me. Because you, you go on and like, oh, games you need to try. Every, everybody talks, I mean, everybody praises the game with this huge cult hit. That's why it ended up on Xbox Originals, because of all like this cult following that it has. But you know what? It's not worth that $15. I'm sorry. It's not that long, and it falls apart. How long did it take you? You know, I respect that they're trying to do something with, like, the adventure game genre. I respect that much. And I do think the game started off very enjoyable, but the game's a, a bust. Ultimately a bust. Ultimately a bust. That and that's sucks. just my overrated game. I haven't played it in a long time, so I probably wasn't even... It's just, I always see it on those damn lists where, like, oh, what game should I try? And everybody's like, oh, you gotta try Indigo Prophecy and Beyond Good and Evil. You know, get, I get games that, de that, de that have developed these overrated well, do, cult do, 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 you, do you think Psychonauts... Psychonauts, I do honestly think is a great game. Really? Yeah. I think it's a little overrated. Uh, 
I that's that's crazy coming from a platformer fan like you. Ex- no, but that's not crazy at all. Because I have very very. <coughs> 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 I started a new platformer today, by the way. Oh, okay, great. Well, on what system? On my PSP. Oh my great. It's called Crash Bandicoot Warp. They came up with a third one for download. Six bucks, dude. It looks beautiful, man. I, I can't believe a PS1 game <laughs> still looks that good. You you say that, but you'll be surprised. I didn't it looks say anything. great on a PSP. I just gave you one of these. Did you ever play it? Which one? Warped? Yeah. Warped is the third one. Yeah. All, all first I, three I Crash Bandicoot I can't remember games. if I beat it or not. Oh. I, I've beaten at least the first two for sure. Is three the one where you fly a lot? Like, yeah. Yeah, then I beat it. And like swim and stuff a lot. Uh, maybe maybe, maybe that was the second one. I don't remember. <laughs> Didn't you, I know didn't for you sure. play Knights? Didn't you check out Knights? I did check out Knights. I haven't played Th- them. Third uh, one is the one with the masked evil twin <coughs> as, the, as the main guy, enemy. <coughs> then no, I didn't play it. I have, I, have, I have an overrated, but I'm only mentioning this in light of our kind of themed show today. Themed show? Uh, I was going to say Devil May Cry 2 is actually an underrated game. Really? Oh, Jesus. Just Back to not, Devil May Cry again. Wait, how is it? I'm not going to I'm not gonna stay on it. I'm just going to say... For what it for what it is, Crap. it's not a bad game. It's just compared see, to the now. The, now he's got somebody who listens to him, so he, <laughs> like, he feels like he should snicker. Well, about I, I, I have a feeling that some Under Devil May Cry fans might still be li- listening. And well, yeah, I, I I played all the way through, and to be honest, I was really excited about it. Like when you when you saw the trailer for the original, and they had that it shows Dante looking up at that giant building, and that demon's face is coming this out is of the building. You play underrated or you tend overrated? To, underrated. You underrated. tend to plow through some crappy games because you really like the story, though. Maybe you were just attached That's to fine, like, dude. It's I fine. was really attached. I, I at least it's got something. I to didn't love the story. The gameplay was complete failure. Though. You could play that whole game shooting your guns. But it was Take fun. out the final boss with your guns. But you, that's if you choose to do it that way. I didn't do it that way. You, I it, it got rated like 7.0. I, I no, love 6.0. I'm gonna 7. be really 0. sad. That's if you, what it deserved. In Devil May Cry 3, were, were you able to do the whole back, in, you know, behind your? I can't remember. Yeah, well, it, you have to be in the, uh, the 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 gunslinger. Yeah, gunslinger. Mode. I, re- I really liked it when it first came out. That's all I'm going to no, say. No more Devil May Cry 3, please. This guy doesn't... What do you have against Devil May Cry 3? You don't mind Devil May Cry 2, Tom? Yeah, because I haven't heard anything about it. I just don't want to hear you guys debate about what in 3 you could or you couldn't no, do. I'm just Why saying... Catch up. <sighs> Devil May Cry 2 is the one that created... Okay, stop right now. The first one that came out. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. Um, I'm going to put Devil May Cry 3. Let me catch up, and then we'll, we'll continue this conversation. <laughs> Shut up. Well, I'm saying don't overreact if we're talking. Uh, sorry, guys. Devil May Cry 2 is what? home listening who want to hear about the <laughs> two. Talk about Devil May Cry 3. I'm sorry. All right. It is a fantastic I'm game. I'm trying. Right. It's been like an hour and a half. I liked it. I didn't love 15. it. I think people gave it... People just blew it off as something horrible because well, it didn't live up to the first one. Well, there's a lot of hype behind it. There's a lot of hype behind it. it didn't live up to the first one. Exactly. So. Well, it, it didn't. But it wasn't by any means a horrible game. But I it, was it, able it to also, in terms of quality, wasn't even close to the first one. I didn't even look as good as the first one. That's the thing. Are you supposed to... Are you supposed to? Is that how you're supposed to rate well, a game? Well, if Devil May Cry was a 9 game, then you're not going to make Neville, Devil May Cry 2 a 9 they, game. It's because no, 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 they tried no, no. to change up but, Dante. They but are you make... supposed to, when you rate a game, is that what you're supposed to say? You're supposed to say, hey, I take this game, I look back compared to the well, previous Well, if it's one. a sequel, I think you yeah, should, well, absolutely. Yeah, this sh- the first one should always be a comparison point if you're reviewing a sequel. But so, so how the hell are the Ratchet and Clank sequel? still scoring 8 and 9s? Because the gameplay because, hasn't well, changed. Well, they're not scoring as high. The first two got really high scores. Three got gradu- three got high scores, but also introduced the online play. This was the first one where you started to see more, less of a 9.0 game and more of an 8, 8.5 game. People are getting tired of it, especially like GameSpot, which gave it like a, a 7.5. So, I mean, people are getting tired of it. I was but, tired of it the first time. But I'm saying like Devil May Cry... Devil May Cry isn't even a, something okay, that, that's something that you get in watching the show that you don't get in uh, the <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, no. Devil, Devil May Cry 2 wasn't even like more of the same. It was a bad game. In it comparison. wasn't a bad in game. Comparison. In comparison. Th- well, I mean, sure, it, it might have been on the par with like Chaos Legion, but come on. You can't put Devil May Cry A lot of people were pissed because they changed up Dante and they, they took away his, his uh, smart-ass attitude. And they made him kind of a quiet, he's like, older. dark, you know, character. Which is and another I, thing that kind of sucked. I kind of liked it. For it was a change of pace, and I'm, I'm glad they, I'm glad they didn't stick with that, with that same. Uh, That's personality. why they made a prequel because they re- recognized how crappy Devil May Cry 2 was, and they're like, dude, we gotta redo this thing, redo Dante. But I didn't realize, I, I didn't realize that I, that I didn't like it as much as the first one until I got, until I finished it and I put the controller down, and I was like, all right, Devil May Cry 1 was a lot better. 
But I still had fun. A hell of a lot better. But I still had fun playing it. And I think it's I think it's underrated because people didn't say it's horrible. But if you play through it, but see, it's enjoyable and it's, it's playable. It's enjoyable. It's playable. I've seen this from firsthand from somebody who never played a Devil May Cry game before. Who this was Victor, by the way. He started Devil May Cry 2 when he got came out, and there was a like, deal where Devil May Cry 1 like came with it. He started with Devil May Cry 2. He played through his like. This is and, and like at the same time he was kind of playing Devil May Cry one, and as he was playing at this at, at one, he knew that the first one was far far superior. And this was somebody who had, who doesn't have that nostalgia of playing Devil May Cry when it first came out, and, and like he didn't even play a ton of video games, but he knew he was able to recognize that one was fantastic and one was kind of crappy. They had two different fields. That's that's all I'm gonna say. So. And they, they took it in the wrong direction. Yeah, but two different. They're fields. back on oh, track. That's all that matters. One, so. one felt kind of like a mushy turd. <laughs> Everybody knows this already, Brad. I don't know why. It's like you're beating a dead horse. He, it's, just, it's just underrated, though. All right, moving all on. Right. That's all I got. Nobody will ever argue that the two is better. Just, Nick's just saying it's a little yeah. bit under. I've, I've oh, actually never heard anybody say that. I think Devil May Cry 2 is better than Devil May Cry 1. I'm just kidding. You're an idiot. Yeah, I, that's one thing. I've never heard anybody say that. Yeah, exactly. So You never will. You never you, will. You win, Brad. You win. You mean all right. the community well, wins. Yeah, same thing. You are the community. I think Cap. I think we won because Capcom realized that we got started getting the games again. Yeah. Everybody. Okay, so, uh, how about some discussion topics? Something. Uh, well, what did you want? What did you want to talk, talk about? I was wondering when you asked me to download the club demo if you, that was going to tie in anything. That will come in later. But, but um, how about uh, how about any discussion topics do you have prepared, Nicholas Henderson? Oh shoot! Should we not oh. use last names? Oh shoot. Sure. Whatever. Oh, Nicholas H. H. Whatever. If we focus too much on it, people are going to be like, hmm, let's look this let's guy look up. Let's look this guy up. Let's find his personal information, his credit card number. <laughs> so, so <you're> <laughs> Come can. back to me. Okay. Uh, so I guess the only thing I can come up with, well, not the only thing I can come up with, the thing I came up with is, so now Devil May Cry 3 is out. So oh, no. Devil May Cry 4 is out. Not okay. Devil May Cry 4 again. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Devil May Cry 4 is you out. See? You see how it feels. Devil May Cry no, 4. Th this is a legitimate question. Okay. Devil Let's May Cry 4 is out. Okay. We are, a lot of people are waiting for this since it came out. Is it time to buy a PS3 now? For people who don't have it. It's been time to buy a PS3. Really? Yeah. It's far past time to well, buy a PS3. Why not play it on not the Not far past time, but I think when games like... I think when games like Uncharted and Ratchet and Clank and, and like more solid like the, like games start to come out which are actually the potential good is definitely and you can't play on other the consoles the potential's that's been there since day one I know but it, but the potential hasn't been there for regular consumers to see the and price realize. point is fine now I think yeah but you lose out on but actually if you wait if you, right now you're gonna get screwed because now definitely you should have been bought if, if anybody's like a hardcore gamer or wants to play games and play old games you should have bought it already but now but, it's just Devil May Cry 4 is great. I think I like it a lot, but what? Why would anybody, you know? Hmm? Why? Anybody why, why would anybody buy a system for Devil May Cry 4, especially if they have an Xbox already? Well, that's the thing. Most people always talk about it in terms of people who already own Xboxes. But I'm saying uh, a person who doesn't have an next-gen system, yeah, it's time to buy a PS3 if that's what he wants. You know? Technically, right now might not be the best time just because I, I, they might drop the price again. This so, year's so going to be different, man. I know, I no, just considering the fact that they found a cheaper way to make them. Yeah, you know what I think was going to happen? Hmm. I think they're going to drop the price, make these like PS3 only game systems out, put a crap load of game of uh, three system like uh, PS3s out that can't play PS3 games. Push, 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 and then later on just be like, hey, you know what? Here you go. Here's PS2 compatible with you. Download on your hard drive. Yeah, it's possible. Like that's. But what some people I, are worried they might charge for it. In which they, case, people the problem just, is no. Who's gonna want to? No, I don't. I wouldn't want to buy the software compatibility. The software compatibility in the in the the eighty gig, um, it had a lot of issues. It wouldn't play games very well, like major games. <laughs> That's why I bought a sixty at the time I did. Yeah. But I'm just saying, it's just. I bought a sixty two months before you, and, and they can't. Update it. It was only two yeah, months. and then I dropped the price, and then you bought bucks. one. No, it wasn't only two months. Was it? You bought yours in May. You I bought, bought yours May third, May fourth. It's time to buy a PS3. If you Why are you giving me that look? Do you not remember when you bought yours? Oh, God, oh. Yeah, I remember. I was like, how the hell do you remember the date? Yeah, because Spider-Man came yeah, out. I, I, bought told you, I, bought I told you I was going to buy it. I bought it the day Spider-Man 3 came out. Yeah. That's right. You bought a PS3 for Spider-Man 3? Yeah. 
I, he, no, I bought. I didn't buy the PS3 for Spider-Man 3. I bought my PS3, crap. and for the first game that I bought with the PS3 was Spider-Man 3. You bought ah, a PS3. Really? You yeah. bought a PS3 <laughs> for Spider-Man 3. <laughs> no, I bought a PS3 for Metal Gear Solid 4 and Final Fantasy 13. But I, I picked it up. I love this kid, man. He's great. But I picked it up with Spider-Man 3. Love this kid. So you bought a PS3 for Spider-Man? All right. <laughs> yes, I bought a PS3 for Spider-Man 3. Oh man, it's cool. Hey, I like Spider-Man too. So yeah, Spider-Man. You should you, you should watch that uh, music video I have for Spider Spider-Man. Do you want my love now? Don't ever do that again. Yeah, you should watch it. <laughs> so, anyways, so moving on. Well, what did you want to mention about the club? Because no, I kind of want to come with. Was that a discussion? Well, can topic? I ask a question? No. Can I ask a question real okay. quick? Uh, on, as an extension of your of your topic, is now is now the time to stop asking for the Wii? Oh jeez! Stop asking for the or Wii. Or stop or for no, just keep buying stop, them up, son. Stop if, buying. Even, them even if you already God. have one, ask. Get another one. You need two per household. The, the fact that's how that good it is. The fact people that ask. People, I've had people coming in wanting to buy two or three at a time. The fact ridiculous. that there's still a shortage is insane. It is ridiculous. But also, insane. you know, it's the, no. It's the, the fact end that of the, people are still. You know what it is? It's the end of the quarter. Like it's the end of the sales year. So they're holding back. Everybody has hit their little like. Things already, their quotas that they want, so they're holding it up. Once the new, you know, it's funny though. Once the new quarter's over, I haven't seen the report or anything like that, but I, I heard somewhere that uh, uh, Nintendo put out a report saying that they sold a certain number during the holidays, and then, but before that, they put out a report saying how many they they can expect to to produce during the, during that period, and they sold more than they said they'd be able to produce, which makes them look kind of like. Liars. Liars, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm so, sure, but I'm so sick of this Wii fad. I respect it for exactly. what it can that's, do. That's uh, I still want to get Fire Emblem. No, you don't, you don't respect the Wii at all. I, 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 I like the Wii. I don't respect I, the fad. I, I have a hard time. I, res I, I respect it for what it can do. I don't respect its popularity. Because I think it's like, it's gotten out of control. You know, you know what they do need to make on, on the Wii, though? Battletoads. <laughs> Did you make that that sign? No, that's freaking how crazy these crazy fan people are. They, they made it. They made a sign and then they post it on the internet, like print this out, go we'll stick it in a GameStop, and freaking harass the crap out of the customers. Is it like viral marketing? They're trying to get it made no, or something? No, 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 no. They're just being annoying. They're trying to get GameStops. Har they're trying to harass. They call the GameStops harass them. Asking for Battletoads. This and is like a. F and this is not just it's, your location. It's, it's like a Nazi regime where they're like, <laughs> there's this head honcho where they come up with <laughs> ideas. Compared to Nazis. And, no, no. They they try. They, here's your instructions, guys. Everybody, call the GameStop eight million times right as they're gonna close and harass them and ask them about Wii's. And then it gets to the point where as soon as you hear Battletoads, you hang up on them. Is this that really that widespread? Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, they called us it, like, right when we were closing. They're like, oh, hang. And then as soon as you hear Battletoads now, you just hang up the phone. Yeah, I've gotten to the point where people will call and they'll start being like, uh, I have a. Then, then, the, then, then, then now, yeah, I'm, then, I'm saying, then now, the, now, now their instructions are: ask them serious questions. Ask them as many like serious questions as possible. Try to find, try to get them to talk to you about the prices and. And then when they least expect it, then you bust out the battle battle toads. toads. Then you bust out that yeah. battle toads question and try to frustrate the crap. I've, I've gotten to the point where I pick up the phone and I've heard them. At the moment I hear them go, uh, yeah, I have a question. I always start to think. I, I have my button, my, my finger on the button. I, I man. If, if the word Battletoads comes in their mouth, I'm hanging up. It's ridiculous. I, it's, yeah. And half the time, it's not even Battletoads. Do you ever enter... What happens when they ask about Battletoads? You it, hang up and you... No, no, like, like I don't... What's the joke? The, that's the whole thing. They're idiots. They're asking for Battletoads on the Wii. Hey, do you have Battletoads on the Wii? Oh, no? Oh, how about the PS3? I want Battletoads, man. Give me Battletoads. And they'll yell, too. They'll, that's that's the they thing. They just keep going on and on Yeah, exactly. And, and then David got in some conversation with one of them no. about wanting to rub it on him or something. No, I was just... The thing about it is, man, I don't get upset. You want to call me about my Haha, ha, it's funny. But why don't you, why don't you, like, screw with David like, talked. Say, yeah, David, man, we got it in today. Come that's, pick that's, it up. That's David did that. David I, did I was did like, that. hey, come in. Come in and get it right now. And he's like, oh, uh. <laughs> There's a long, uh, like, uh, F you, man. F you. And then I was like, you're great. <laughs> that's all you can do? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Well, so do it every time. I was like, come in, man. I was like, come in. Put, put your hand <coughs> back. He's like, can, I can't reserve it. I can't reserve it. I was like, there's no such game. It's already here. No, he's like, we hey. actually have a box sitting in I was like, hey, I can't reserve it. I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, man. Y'all should make up a fake sign. Door. We have battle toads. No, that's what happened. They made up signs. It's like, get $100 off your Wii when you bought purchased battle toads. Supply is limited. And they actually make up this fake thing. And it's like, you know, I'm sure there's idiot customers who are going to come in and like, wow, that's crazy. 
I'm, I'm getting $100 off my Wii. It's just harassment almost, man. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. David talked to him for like five or six minutes. It was funny. All right, moving on. <laughs> Uh, what was that, 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 uh, t- uh, uh, what's it called, the sweat, the, what are you sweating sweaty about? Sweaty, sweaty palm- palms. Sweaty palms. Our sweaty palm section. What games are you guys masturbating to? Oh. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. I told you, I, I told you I returned <laughs> Super Swing Golf already. No, what does sweaty palms mean? <laughs> <I wasn't ready. laughs> tell, tell the customers, tell the customers what sweaty palms means. <laughs> Come on, seriously. Okay. What's sweaty, our sweaty palms? Sweaty topic? palms is a section we came up with where we talk about what in the industry in terms of a game or a co- something, something is anything in the industry that, that has us worried, that has us sweating. You know, so like when you not, play, yeah. nothing has nothing to do with masturbation. Let's clear that up right now. Thank you, Brad. Yes. Sorry about that. Oh well, man, I wasn't ready for that. God, I feel like sick now. <laughs> you know what life. makes me feel sick and what gives me sweaty palms? Ninja Gaiden Two. Or because I don't, I don't, I don't trust Itagaki. I hate the Dead or Alive series. Ninja Gaiden was good. I really do love Ninja Gaiden, but mm, I'm worried. You know, I'm honestly worried that that because Ninja Gaiden was a good game, but it got to the point where I could just spam that. Uh, what was you don't like Ninja Gaiden? No. Really? How far did you get it? Not very. No, well, okay, whatever. He just likes easy games. There's a lot of. No, stuff. I. Oh! 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 No, Damn, Brad, that's the thing. That, hold on, hold on. Oh gosh, that's a joke. Brad. That's a joke. Ninja Guy's not even that hard because I could just spam that move where he leaps. What's it called? That the, the flying, flying swallow. swallow? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Goes, I didn't. You know the thing is, I took out bosses. I didn't know. I didn't, most of the I didn't know you could do the flying swallow out of the air, so I always did it off the wall. I always have to. I did the boss close to a wall and just run off the wall and do it. Yeah, but you could do it mid air. And and here's the thing. Maybe I never played the later versions of the game, not extensively. No. Maybe they balance it up. What I'm saying is no, if the is if he can let something that like imbalanced like into the game, like I mean, it's not doesn't have that. You know what I mean? It's not, I'm, I'm just I'm, worried. I've already spoken about my overratedness of Ninja Gaiden, so... No, I think Ninja, the original Ninja Gaiden is, no. a, is a great game. Not just because of the combat, but because in terms of, like, action game philosophy, it does a lot of, like, cool things that other action games don't. But I'm worried that this new game is going to be more of the same, and, and he's going to try to improve on the wrong kinds of things, you know? He might try to look a little better, add a little more blood, give us some new weapons... But that's not where the series needs to go. He's going to put his uh, Dead or Alive Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball 2 Jiggle Mechanics in. You know, there are Jiggle Jiggle Mechanics in here. Yeah, I'm sure there are, dude. There's Jiggle Mechanics in a lot of games nowadays. Rachel, Rachel probably make a return. That's Jiggle Madness right there. I don't want another iteration of the original. I don't want it to feel like another iteration of the original. It's going to be prettier on the 360. And like I said, this might be completely unwarranted, but this is what's honestly worrying me because I really do love the series. I'm actually knocking all that crap off my desk, by the way. Yeah, yeah. What about y'all? Fast. <laughs> what about y'all? Uh, I have to say I'm, I'm, I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm, I'm pretty worried about GTA 4 just because... Of the fact that they're scaling it down. A lot of people are worried about because they've gone they went from such a large scope, and they they scaled it down to just a single city again. There's no open countryside. Not to mention that the the they've gone. Uh, Rockstar actually went out and said that they're blaming the push the delay on the PS3 version. And I'm picking up the PS3 version for one, which means I'm I'm sacrificing the downloadable content for one because they've already said there's not going to be much. Here's the download Mass Effect downloadable content. No, Mass Effect downloadable content looks terrible to me. Yeah. Really? I love this. It's like it's like five dollars for like an hour and thirty minute long mission, and that's an hour and thirty long minute long mission like from them saying it's an hour and thirty. Long. This is never that long, you know. You get half that time. time for Especially because I'm I, I I thought the Mass Effect side missions were pretty crappy. Yeah, for the most. Part. No, but if they, if they set it up like it's more like you know when you went to a full planet and you did like a story mission. Yeah. If it's on that level. Maybe it's worth it, but if it's like you go, you just go to a planet, drive around, and see some new people and talk to them. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Keep um, going with your GTA. I'm sorry. <coughs> GTA. <go. laughs> the, my main concern is that this is going to come out. People are going to be pissed that the PS3 delayed it. They're going to be pissed because you can't do the downloadable content. And then all of a sudden, uh, Grand Theft Auto is going to become a Microsoft. Uh, well, who cares? Uh, I thought you wanted exclusivity. I know, but it should be PS. It should be Sony. Oh my gosh! It gosh fucking this be guy. Sony. There you go, ding ding. That's and I, and I'm also I'm also worried about the fact that this delay kind of makes me worried about is it gonna run smoothly on the PS3? 
I really hope it does. But I tell you, man, Xbox. Got at this that, point, I don't care about that. Xbox has got that cash money. I'm sure. Like, at this point, I don't care about about the HD setting. I'm just, I'm just wondering, is, that the, is the frame tattoo. rate gonna be just as smooth in the PS3 as the 360 version? Mm. It'll be point. better because it runs at 1080p. Which, by the way, no. Not gonna run 1080p no. in the PS3. When was the last game you saw well, run at 1080p? Does, does anybody on the know PS3? what the lead platform is for Grand Theft Auto? It's supposed to be. 360 it's probably. supposed to be PS3, but we have more reserves at our Is store. it really PS3, the Elite platform? No, at this point, we have we have more reserves at our store for the 360 version. The games that have... What is... What's wrong with David? I don't know this answer. Okay, so... <laughs> he's, he's scared of another ex exclusivity. <coughs> I was, I was, <sighs> All I know is that Burnout was designed on PS3 Elite platform, and it ran better. So, like, if that trend happens, then we don't have anything to worry about as far as... It, also... The games, like, I think Devil May Cry, PS3 was lead platform. Yeah, it The was. games were PS3's lead platform, there hasn't been problems with the Xbox ports. So it seems like, for both I think areas, PS3, that's the best way to I do it. I think PS3 was lead platform. I don't think they announced the 360 version until a little bit after. But I'm not positive. But then again, they delayed it because of the PS3 version. Yeah. So, who, who knows? I'm worried, but I'm sure... It won't be, be state of emergency. It'll be a good game. Oh, God, I forgot about that terrible They game. might have some graphical hiccups, but you know what? Mass Effect had ass loads of them, and it was still a great game. I agree. I definitely agree. What's, what about you? Any sweaty palms? Uh, well, Professor Layton comes out this Sunday. Yeah? So I'm kind of getting excited about that one. Sweaty palms? No, um, not so much for that game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all stop and stare at David. No, no I mean, that that game is on my list of games coming soon that I'm really excited about. Yeah, I'm excited about the game. Um, I had something to go, but I lost it when you guys were doing it. I'll keep my game. eye on it. Oh, I have one. Crisis Core. Not because I'm worried... It's just... I, I don't want it to be another, like, crappy Advent children just in a game form. Wait, 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 wait. But what I'm, do you mean? I'm worried... I, I love Final Fantasy VII, and I hate... I, I mean, I... When Advent Children came out, I watched it, I enjoyed it, but after I watched it, I was like... But what are the best parts of Advent Children? <coughs> it's, just, it it's just it's just, the nostalgia, right? No, the way it looked, nothing... Well, no, 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 but like, it, when you when you first saw, like, Barrett and Vincent and Tifa and all those people, you got like... Don't forget you got Yuffie. excited. And when Yuffie they, had this little the scene shirt with, with the little white flowers on it, man. The, the scene awesome in the too. church? Yeah. It was, was kind of nostalgic and... and uh, but other than that, there wasn't really much when I'm saying, nostalgia. When you played this game, and like remixes of those old like battle themes and stuff kick in, it's gonna be awesome, dude. But I don't want them to ruin the story of the original. <coughs> but like, I mean, it's out in Japan. Isn't that here, time? It's a pretty decent game. It's not like not many people are saying it's like absolutely fantastic. Although some people are, but I, I haven't heard too many reports saying it's a bad. But game. But they're beating this. This they're beating this near perfect game into the ground by making so many spin-offs that it's just ridiculous. Dirge of Cerberus never well, should have been made. Square Sauce ever been Advent Children? Mind ever no, since Dirge of Cerberus could have been made. Just make it a better game. No, Dirge of Cerberus. How do you some people, call, some people would call that, that game underrated. It's ama amazing looking, dude. Square just does. Uh, they got their crap together when it's looking when for looks and stuff. Well, that's because, always. But they gotta stop. I mean, exactly. It's kind of. It's it, you can't help but look at them. Like they're their only reason they're making these games is to. We can complain about to about the fact that they're doing this now with exploiting franchises, but that's been this has been the case. It's some. It's the new Square Enix, and we just have to deal with it. You know? Every mediocre game they 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 release with Final Fantasy VII <coughs> makes the just takes the original down. A First of, of all. Let's quit calling it mediocre because we don't know that. I know, I know, but but Advent Children was mediocre at best. Dirge of Cerberus mediocre at best. I think in terms of CG graphics. Well, and I'm Advent not talking about technically. Technically, uh, Advent Children was amazing, but the well, story was all over the place. But then you could argue that the Final Fantasy VII story was all over the place. Okay, that game's, well, a, that, that game's a little bit overrated. It's one of my favorite games ever. But it's a little bit overrated. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to start wrapping up the show a little bit, maybe? Yeah, i got to go play Devil May Cry. Well, well, speaking of stuff I'm getting excited about yeah. is that, you know, the PSP. I mean, some people are oh, saying... that's what I'm worried about. Some, some people are saying with God of War and Crisis Core, it's getting, like, it maybe its first AAA titles. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm thinking... And some people are really excited about the that. the PSP? People think it's fine. Because of those two games, it's going to start selling big, not only in Japan... You know, but like over here, it it's sell selling big. big you know, right? Court came out, it so. sells where it, it sells well for a handheld, and I think 
with those two games, it's going to pick up and be really big. And, and you know, it's still coming out with cool games like Pat Upon. Yeah, but how long so we'll did that see. take? The, the, the yeah. PSP has been out for like, what, the two three years? Yeah. Also, I was reading up on a PSP game that came out this week or next week. I saw some early reviews don't for worry, it. Don't say Downstream Panel. Yeah. Yeah, Downstream Panel looks cool. Yeah, it looks cool. And I'm like, it, I, it it's really cool, cool that this game... a shark on the front. It's like, what? It's interesting that that this weird quirky stuff is still coming out. So you know, it's not out, it's not out of the yeah, What's the other one? N plus. Oh, N plus is on PSP and DS. You know, it's the oh, one that you showed me with that weird flash game that you can run on the walls and then jump. Yeah. That one. Yeah. It's coming out. It's getting a DS release. Yeah. The only problem is it's free. You know, on PC. Yeah, it's free on PC. You just gotta put the oh. crappy keyboard. And and yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. The uh, but you know, there hasn't been a ton of stuff announced later, but. Sony always sneaks that stuff. I always, you know, what GDC's Pulse? coming out. Wipeout, Wipeout Pulse is supposed to be a really great version of, of Wipeout with good, great online play, too. Yeah. I've heard good I get excited Wipeout. about it, except I don't have a PSP, which is... That's my... Uh, you still don't have a too. PSP. That, 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 that's, that. that's my sweaty palms. I don't. I have no clue how I'm going to be able to afford a PSP in a couple weeks when Patapon comes out. Yeah. I could pay I'm off sure Patapon you'll today. find a way. Uh, it's, a, it's also supposed to be the first Wipeout with the custom soundtracks, which could be cool. Yeah, it's custom soundtracks. I mean. Wipeout music is generally pretty applicable. I've never used a custom soundtrack before. Yeah. It's pretty good in racing games when you just want to hear your own music. Like, like, like they were saying... Dude, like I had a friend who, play, in that, who played Project Gotham <coughs> on Xbox, and he had like three songs on his custom soundtrack, <laughs> and that's all he played. Evidence is like three Evanescent songs. Oh, Jesus. And that's all he was. He well, was driving around and... You had to have good Project music taste. <laughs> oh, I didn't have... You have to have good music taste to make a... He was driving around in Project Gotham with Evanescence that... uh, What's that? Bring me to life? No, no, what's the the slow one? Who gives a shit? (laughs) The really slow one. It's like, dun, 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 dun. Oh, I tried so... Uh, I, uh, I still have that damn annoying song from Midnight Club 2 stuck in my head. That like, put your top down, play it, put your top down. Right around, right around. On my original Xbox, down. and that loops over at the whole song. Uh, over I don't and over know. Again. I think, I think, uh, custom soundtracks. It's a great idea, but a lot of games they don't implement it well. Like they should, it should be like, you know, really easy to just switch between not only like your preset playlist, but just switch between. From playlist to playlist and everything, and switch between the tracks it should be smooth and easy. Like an MP3 player. Yeah, like an MP3 player, and then it would be a lot better. What big games nowadays use custom soundtracks? Well, like oh, any, anything. Recent, I, what are you talking racing about? Stuff, dude. Just no, no, no. It's implemented into Xbox Live. You can use it for any game. Oh my god, I hope not. That's what I'm saying. It needs to be implemented well. Some Call of Duty with some with my own sound. No, I think you can. I think you can. But I'm saying, like, if it's in a racing game... I'll get back to you on that. I'll give or, it a like, shot. certain, like, <laughs> online games, it could be cool. But like I said, you got to have a good library. Like, my original Xbox, I put a ton of music on that. It's just that games like Burnout, it was so hard to get the music playing that you wanted to. It was a pain in the yeah. ass. But, um... So, how do we usually wrap this up? Let's move on. Are we what, excited, what are excited about, about anything else? Special um, Layton's coming out this Sunday. Kind of excited. Yeah, blue and black cobalt. Blue cobalt blue and black DS coming out. God dang it! I, eh, who cares? I'm thinking about trading my red one and get a blue one. I want to get a blue one, but freaking, Why? I've already traded my white one and to get a black one. Uh, I saw a girl with a red one today in class, and I was like, "That's yeah. crazy, dude. <laughs> Absolutely crazy." Oh. But anyways, <laughs> um, Lost Odyssey comes out next week. Is anybody excited about uh, that? I think IGN gave it. Or game trailers. They get rated at like an 8.8. It, I just but can't believe, I can't believe Lost. No, but it's just funny. I can't believe Lost Odyssey's out already. I can't stand the way the main character looks. No, it's just funny because I, I, I thought this was something that was going to come out in like June, and all of a sudden, like mm. I'm in the store. I'm like, oh, well, it comes out next week. Crap. Is it's, this something you're excited? It just, it about? No, no, no. It just it snuck up on me. Like, wow, something like this. I'm not big on on Lost Odyssey, but I'm excited that it's a traditional Japanese RPG because there's not many of those. Yeah. Out on the Xbox or even the PS3 over here, you know. Miss Walker, and they got to come out somewhere. Miss Walker. Walker has been, has made three like, pr- pretty much, like uh, we don't fully know about Lost Odyssey, but it has been out in Japan. And from what I understand, it's not Blue Dragon, true. Ash, the DS game, yeah. and and what, Lost what Odyssey. Is, what does Ash stand for? Archaic Steel Heat. Steel Heat. And and 
hard. Heat. Or is it hard? I don't know. Heat. Yeah, yeah. it's been pretty, they've all been pretty mediocre to bad from what I hear. <laughs> mediocre to bad. Yeah. Should it be bad to mediocre? Some people will fight me to the death over Blue Dragon, though, right? I, don't, you won't see me fighting to the death. I can't. You could do traditional well. And this is the beginning. The, the, the <laughs> gosh, here he goes again. I, I've heard, my, I've, I've been in my room playing games, whatever, and my, my roommate's been, like, walking to the kitchen and making himself dinner. I'll, I'll hear him, like, just cooking and like, this is the beginning. It, he sings the whole thing, or just no. He just says that over and over again. That's the God, that's the whole song. Is who, this is the beginning? Whose genius yeah. of that idea was it to put the fans? This song? is the beginning. That's, Whatever. Oh my God. Because that's the only Horrible. thing. Everything else is in Japanese. Right? I have it so on my iPod. English, right? <laughs> how do you feel oh. about? I had the whole soundtrack. Oh, so it's in the, it's in the how do you feel about the rumors that Suda might, might start working with the 360? Great. Right? That's awesome. I want him to make more games, and if it's going to sell better and make him make more games, I can't. I don't. Yeah, I'd love to see it on a Nintendo co console, but I mean, Killer Seven and well, you've, 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 you've seen it on a Nintendo console. Aren't exactly, aren't exactly aren't exactly yeah, I want to see what he does on a, on a next gen console. See what he can do with it. So, aren't you, ready, ready, for never, huh? aren't you ready for that? Somewhat. I mean, again, I I think I you love your Wii. Uh, no, I want him to do something different, and I'm sure he will. But it's just we'll have to see, man. Well, uh, we'll see what he comes up with. Because I remember I've been watching No More Heroes for like the longest time. I'm excited about the rumors that uh, Everyday Shooter might be getting ports. To, I don't know where it's going to get ported to, but if it can get to the PSP, that would be cool. Okay, cool. Anything else? Any games coming out within the next month's time that y'all are excited about? I thought that's what we've been talking about. <laughs> no, I mean, but like, are you finished or you need to go? Is that what you're trying to point at? Or? No, what is yours? What are you uh, saying? No, I'm asking. I'll go last. I'm asking you. Uh, go ahead. I've, I've already been saying I I am Presentating for you. I'm surprisingly excited about the club. Really? But you haven't really. played the demo. I did I not. Know. From what you saw me play. I, yeah, I love the I love the premise. Have you watched? What is the premise? Else I've never. I haven't been. Paying the premise. Attention. I don't know. It's the how. Okay, the story, characters. I think that's all like secondary. It's like it's uh, like a you shooting. Already, you already lost my. It's interest. a shoot. It's like a shooting gallery, but it's like all dependent on speed and like precision and like style the, too. The freaking Devil May Cry Four, man, it's gotten me into this like whole like in No More Heroes into this like action speed precision. Don't mess up. Don't you know? It looked like a rip off of Fight Club to me. It, it's Fight kind Club. of a it's what kind of a Fight, Fight Club, Club thing in the sense no, that the you're this character, the you're this character, and you're in this like underground shooting club, and you go in there and there's people attacking you, and you have to like. What happens is when you kill your first guy, there's a bar that fills up, and then it'll tick down. And you need to get another kill before it ticks all the way down and keep your combo going. And depending on, like, if you hit them from far away or if you get a headshot or if you, like, roll or bash or something when you shoot, you'll get more points and more of a... Co your combo meter will build up even more. you got to keep it going. Other cool things is that they have these little targets hidden around the stages. And if you and if you find one and take them out, you can keep your combo going. And I just love that. Yeah, like, I, I love the those. fact that it's really... really and it's a score-based game. It's not like a traditional shooter. It's all about... You know, stringing together like a badass combo wow, and an getting an awesome way, score. Yeah, yeah, it's completely crazy. <coughs> My plays biggest like worry shooter. about that game is that I don't want to play the same level over like 80 times trying oh. to get like trying to um, pass it. So like, you know, too hard. it's just the same thing. It's like that's one of the reasons why I never played Project Gotham is because every time it's like score eight million points on this one and you're doing sk skids all around trying to build up your point. And, Oops, I touched the side. I lost all my points. Yeah. Same thing with this man. That could be. I could see that becoming extremely frustrating, trying to keep your combo going. And then you try to shoot this one guy and you miss him, and then you're like, ah! Yeah. You have to start your whole combo over because you screwed up your combo, you know? It's definitely a cool premise, but I'm a little worried, not only because I saw some like technical issues in the demo, like it just became mind, like it was dizzying. Yeah, it's just but that you're all over place trying to shoot. I also saw the EGM scores and they weren't too great. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I, I would pick this game up. Right, what were like, the scores? Like, I saw like s some sixes and maybe a I would seven. I would pick this game up next week if it wasn't sixty dollars. If it was thirty, no doubt in my mind. When does it come out? I would pick it up. It's next week. Oh no, the nineteenth. Ships 19th. out the nineteenth. Which is crazy because this I know it's a shooter and stuff, but bizarre creation. Uh, bizarre creation. Bizarre creation. Yeah. The uh, Geometry Wars. Uh, they're not the most like well known and like have the best track record. Project but Gotham. Yeah, I know, but what else are they not other than that? Well, they're, they're not that old of exactly, a company. Exactly, exactly. They're very new and untested, but I love it. I absolutely love it when they try to do something, when people try to do something different and creative and just totally off the wall. And there's this one character, I read up in some <coughs> a lot of them look like generic characters, like yeah. 
the big tough black guy and then the big tough Russian guy and then the, the, the white guy. Big, tough guys. Yeah, exactly. And then they have the skinny, like Little really Asian quick guy. Asian guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they, <laughs> the Asian guy's really quick. Yeah, yeah. Like he's really quick. Yeah, but, they, they actually have like speed stats. But no, like, but the, accuracy but stats. But like so. everybody's a bad guy except for like the Asian guy, which he's like. What? He's like a secret agent. There's a selling point. He's, for like, David a, he's right like a there. secret agent. He's pretending to be like this terrorist. But actually, he's like working for the government and trying to take the whole organization he's like, down. He's like, long. So I was like, whoa. He's undercover. And he's Japanese. His name's Kuro. Kuro is black. So? In Japanese. I'll look into it. I haven't... I, that's it not at all. I thought that's, it was why, a, that's why I was downloading I actually thought it was an online multiplayer game. That's why I was downloading the demo. Yeah, see, that's I the thing. I don't know if there's going to be... First, from first glance, that's what it looks there, like. I, I don't there know is if there's multiplayer. Be. There's eight-player multiplayer online. I don't know how it works. Yeah, how would that... That's probably going to be something stupid. Because I, I don't see how I could follow the premise... Or it could be a score thing. Maybe like the person who, who's not just on a kill streak, but he's also on a combo streak. You know what I mean? That's true. And you're competing for the highest score. I'll look into that. I haven't, I haven't seen any footage of it at all. Well, that, like I said, there's a playable demo on it. So yeah, yeah, but my internet. Out. I can't download shit. No, oh, that's, that's true. So, uh, that's interesting. It's a surprise for you, I, I think. Um, what else? Anything else? That's it for me. I guess, Nick, would you like to wrap up the show? Viewers. Well, I'm picking up Lost at the end of the month, and then... Lost? Is that coming out right? The game? Yeah, it comes out... For what, PS3? PS3 comes so out you, on the Yeah, 20... it's a POS machine now. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> comes out on the 23rd or something like that. So, getting my Lost fix, but then uh, I'm, also, I'm also getting excited about... This is more like that towards the end of the That's end crazy, of March. dude. There's a guy on the freaking island, and they, he's just like there, and they Shut kidnap up. somebody away. That no, that has me like creeped out. I get like goosebumps thinking about like you gotta what see the, it. You what the hell is he doing it. on the island? Okay, again, we're not gonna get this into. Are you just uh, trying to get me riled? We're not gonna no, get no, into a deep I'm discussion re- about freaking uh, lost. That just you saying that last week. We'll watch it, dude. I'm like thinking about watching it, which I think David's gonna be able to oh, do the show. Hold on, stop it. We're not because we're getting close to. All right, we're okay. Not gonna talk about lost, I'm but. getting excited <laughs> about. This is towards the end, probably closer to the end of March. So I'm kind of mentioning it early, but. It's the next big, big game that I'm excited about, which would be Dark Sector. Dark Sector, which really? I'm, I keep watching the new footage that we've <coughs> It looks beautiful. How's Final Fantasy Tactics going? <laughs> See, he loves doing this. He loves like, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah. he thought you were going to get away? He's going to stab you right in your crotch. <laughs> I thought he already stabbed me in the cross last week. Now he's just kind of twisting it. Yeah, yeah. See, he likes doing <laughs> that, dude. He likes doing that. It's kind of it's going not slow. very nice. <laughs> it's, it's going slow. Because the thing is, the, the biggest thing is, he knows the answer. That's that's the thing. He knows you're not playing it. Because if you have, you know? it's going exactly. Great. I gotta check up on you. You know, maybe, maybe this will encourage you. I to, usually only to, play to pick it, it up. I usually only play it when I'm sitting in bed going to sleep, which usually means I play means, it and then I'm like, me, 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 you know what that means? No, Brad? I play a lot of handouts Brad, like that too. You know what that means? Yawn. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Okay, that's it. That's it. Uh, oh. Let's wrap up the, the ending, I guess. How about how about one one wish game? A wish list? Yeah. Sure, what's up? Phantom Dust 2, baby! Phantom Dust 2! Oh, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Phantom uh, Dust 2 is underrated and underplayed game of last console generation. Alright, then uh, Dust I'll... Two or Phantom, Phantom Dust 1. Yeah. Who, who does it? Did Phantom Dust here? Huh? What developer did Phantom Dust here? Uh, it was Sega. Yeah. You sure? Oh, well, I mean, it's published by Majesco, right? Here. But, but oh, the, the guy who worked on, uh... The Panzer Dragoon series worked on Phantom Dust. Though. Was it Sega? Sega? He's Japan? a Sega developer. Yeah, Dang, Sega dude. Japan. It's crazy. See, and S- the club. <coughs> Sega is the club. I, I published, really, published by Sega. I though. It's, wanna, it's developed by Kazar. Pick it up. Why don't you play the demo first? I saw it really good. Oh, it looked all over the place, dude. Like this camera's all like. Yeah, it looks very like the, like it's that roadie run thing that every shooter's trying to do now. It doesn't work out in every game. Yeah. All right, well, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I guess we'll see you next week. We'll try to post a, a time for the live show next week. That way... You can do it ahead of time. Yeah, it's not like... We kind of just spur yeah. a moment. I'm going out of town tomorrow, so... Uh, we had to kind of shoot record today or or until next... We would be until oh. next week. We didn't even check to see if the, maybe the feed accidentally went down. Does that, yeah. I hear that shit happen. But uh, second thing... Uh, next oh. week's our 50th show, so... Um, We'll try and have something. Let's planned. let's have something, I guess, nice planned for next week because it's the fiftieth show. Well, it's, it's weird watching me move slow. Uh, are we done? Mm, I guess not. Hold on. Uh, Nick, do you want to plug the website? Uh, yeah. Uh, be sure to. We actually got it. We have it. We have a domain now, so uh, you can check it out. 
instead of that long, drawn out uh, address like we used to have, now we have. Hey, cool. We actually had some people post. Now we have a. Just oh, finish sorry. the show. This is a www.fourplayerpodcast.com or the number four player podcast or com a, or F-O-U-R. Yeah. or oh yeah we got both yeah or, or you can type it, or you can type it out so, I don't know uh, if you, I don't know if you can yet but eventually yeah okay but for right now it's, it's the number four it's, it's our blog we try and keep that going weekly <laughs> what's that what's that it's funny it's can we wrap up the recorded podcast people still. Uh, music yep. this week. All right, bye guys. Music this week was by Sukadin. Sukadin one. Sukadin one. Yes. It was picked out by Brad. Great soundtrack. Yep. Uh, what else? Like I said, that's it. Oh, by the way, ch- uh, tune in. To check the website tomorrow. We should have the. Uh, I guess tomorrow being the ninth. Yeah. Or eighth. Eighth. Tomorrow. Yeah, eighth. Tomorrow being the eighth. Uh, check the website tomorrow. We should have our top five boss battles tomorrow. Uh-huh. Tomorrow. So. Um, thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for those people who are online posting uh, cra- crazy comments. Yeah. This guy, I don't know what he's doing, but he's posted for like an hour <laughs> har- trying to harass us or something. Nobody was even there to see it. All right. All right thanks, good night, guys. Good night, guys. It's nice. Okay. What's wrong? Not yet. No. Now. Now it's recording. Haha.